Test, test, test. Good job. Flying with Mike. All right, welcome. Welcome, hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. So nice to see you. Happy Saturday. I hope it's okay that we're starting just a little tiny bit early. But I actually got things kind of organized and ready to go. So I thought, what the heck, let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling. We got lots happening in the uh, in the background here. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Yeah, we've got a raid here <laughs> coming in. Uh, let's see. Holy cow. Wait a minute. We got all kinds of stuff. I look away for one second and all heck breaks loose. So, uh, I guess let's start from the, uh, from the beginning. M Stein. Hello, Mike. Nice to see you. And, uh, flying with Mike comes in with a, with a raid. Hello, Mike. And hello, Raiders. Iowa Scotsman. Hi, Ron. How's it going? Thank you for the 32 months. Oh, my friend, my friend, my friend. Skull. You're awesome. You're awesome. Uh, we also had Sim Mr. Egan. Oh, look at all those shamrocks. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Uh, and Jet Pilot Cinnamon. Hey, uh, it's uh, our own law and order legal expert, Jet Pilot Cinnamon, who's making an appearance here. Nice to see you. And uh, yeah, how how's... You know, I, I, I think I know how this, how the trial's going, but, uh, anyway, I hope that, 
I hope that they are able to get things wrapped up on time and justice will prevail. Yeah. Dong, dong. <laughs> oh man. Yes, 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 indeed. So, all right. I am, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things, right? You want to get it done, but you want to do it right. And it's, it's a serious deal. So we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be, uh, teasing you about the Scranton Strangler or anything like that. Right. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's Bravo Tour Day and it's giveaway day. So um, we better get that started here. And let's see right here. Boom. There you go. $25 gift card giveaway at the conclusion of today's flight. Okay, I beat up my, uh, or is this ice step? My, my nose cone's getting here. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting iced over here. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm going real time, real weather. And... Yeah, look at that. I'm worried I might pay the price here today, but hopefully once we get things uh, rolling here, we'll be in good shape. You know what I haven't done here? Iowa Scotsman has had several jury notices, but never have actually had to serve on one. Yeah, I've been called twice, and I uh, was selected once, and I was able to wriggle, wriggle off of it. Um... And the second time I wasn't selected. So anyway, yeah. I've not ever done a GPU deal here. I might have to I might have to do that and see if I can get some uh defrost going here. Let's see. How do I I don't even know if I know how to do this, you guys. How do we connect to the uh how do we connect to the APU? Whoa. I know. <laughs> Mr. Egan, that's what I'm worried about. Um and I need every bit of, uh, every bit of, I need every bit of fuel that I'm going to, that I'm going to need to get all the way down. There's actually a little bit of a, a little bit of a controversy. Simbrief's telling me that I can't make it, but I think I can't. So it's not even four hours of flight time. So, um, all right, I'm going to get things fired. Oh, I don't have any, why don't I have any sound? I have no sound. What is going on here? Um, are you guys hearing, are you guys hearing anything? Okay, hold on here. I've, so I've changed, I've got a different, Trying a different uh, set of headphones here, and uh, we've lost the bleeps, creeps, and sweeps. Okay, so all right. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I may. This is uh, this is unexpected here. I think it's trying to. Oh yeah, so it's trying to, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Stand by for a moment here while I try to figure out what it is I've done. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. What have I done here? What have I done? So it has um, completely taken away my... completely taken away my sim sounds and has replaced that with my headset... <laughs> oh man um all right well maybe i'm not going to get the early start i thought i was going to get
it's 13 snowing outside i have a captive audience <laughs> well i'll show you what i'm doing here you guys so what it has done here it's given me a whoops it's given me a brand spanking new um a brand spanking new setup i don't i'm honestly i'm a little bit stumped because i this is gonna look weird probably here but normally i have uh i have the uh the stream as as part of my mixer but um streamception that's right but i don't i don't even have that as an option now it's giving me logitech which is which is uh, uh, one of my cameras, which I don't, I don't want that audio. This obviously is me talking to you, which I do want. But this used to be the sim, and now, oh man. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't, I don't even have that as a, uh, I don't even have that as an option now. Holy moly. As I look in here. Hmm. Monitor and output, maybe. I don't. I don't think that's what I want. Blah. Hmm. Well, shoot. Okay, desktop audio device. Windows audio is funky sometimes. Just connecting or disconnecting some USBs will mess up your audio order. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe that is what I'm going to have to do. Well, what a clunky start. You know, I thought I had tested everything. And... Uh, Everything was working great, but I the one thing that I had not done is test it with the <laughs> with Streamlabs. So the this might take some this might take some doing because we do not want to have a soundless stream. That would definitely be unique, but not because even when I'm outside, you should hear stuff from the yeah, and there's nothing coming. Well, all right. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I, the only way to troubleshoot this is to keep keep the stream going, guys. And so, I really apologize. But um, if you want to go hang out, <laughs> do something with somebody else, you can. But I'm literally gonna have to troubleshoot this as we go, because um, yeah, I might, I might not know how to fix the problem if I don't have if I don't have this uh if I don't get this figured out so uh I apologize I will keep a hold of your uh giveaway tickets and hopefully here in not too long I'll be able to fix the problem but uh yeah sorry about that guys it's a tech stream that's right it's turning into a tech stream oh my goodness all right so my source needs to be see i can't even i can't even make my source device be my uh Maybe if I go with headphones instead of headset. Can I turn the monitor off? I don't really care if I'm monitoring. Well, no, I need to have monitoring because that's what helps me hear what's going on. Um, monitor mute. Okay. So this is my output device. 
this again. I don't need any of that. My event stuff. Yep, I want all that turned on. Okay, that looks fine. Anything crazy in the global settings? I don't think so. Desktop audio device is maybe this needs to just be the headphones. Hmm. Don't know what the input and the output is. That's the problem. Okay. That's still not doing anything. Yep, head over. You got tons of options today. And, uh, and, uh, if I get it squared away, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know. I'll tell you one thing I better do is this. Let's, uh, let me turn stuff off here. Just, I know we're connected to, or to, ox power but we'll, we may be a solid block of ice but by the time we get this figured out Almost like something's trying to come through here. Turn this on here. What do we got? Choose my output device. That's that's what I want. It's my headphones, my new headphones. Test, test. Yep, my Yeti's working. Hmm. That looks fine. Hey, Drobart. By the way, hi. Well, all right, properties. Somebody somewhere out there is going, sees exactly what needs to happen, and it's just like, no, no, don't do that, do this. Did you, did you hear the input, the intro music, by the way? If I, if I. Good job. Answers, if anyone's still here. I <laughs> think so, but do you hear, if I turn the intro music on, do you guys hear that at all? Okay, so we got that. We just don't have, just don't have. So I don't need this. I don't need this as a source. I need X plane to be my, to be my source. The, 
Logitech is muted. Yeah, which is good. That's just one of my, uh, that's just my webcam here. So that's Elgato. Oh, hold on. This is interesting because I've got my here here it is behind the scenes. Yeah, this is why I should never I don't want this. I'm gonna take this guy off. I don't need you. Okay. It is trying to pick something up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. How the strange sausage is made. Alright. And it's, uh, the problem is it's, it has it on every single one of my, it's just inserted this on every single one of my views. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. It makes me want to plug in my old headphones and just see what this is because I you know you kind of have in your mind you got like a little bit of a a little bit of a picture of what it should look like but so why can't I add a source maybe I can add a source here let's add a Audio input capture. No, audio output capture. Okay. And uh, let's type, let's make that desktop. So, yeah, so I want. Hmm, okay. still going let's let's put you back down here This is crazy. <laughs> Look at all that ice. Oh my lord. Too much ice to fly probably today anyway. You do hear it now? So you can hear it. You're hearing the sim. Okay, so we're making progress then. Okay, we have sound. Hey, resolated. We're ha we have sound. I don't have sound is the problem, though. Okay, so let me try this. Let me go to... Has to be a monitor issue. Yeah, you guys are thinking along the same lines as me. So now, monitor only. Mute output. No, that hasn't changed anything for me. Monitor and output. Yeah, I still don't hear anything on my end. You can hear it now. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we're making progress, guys. So. Hmm. Boy, this is fun, isn't it, guys? How are you liking the stream so far? 
All right, so that's so you can hear. Yeah, I can. I can really see it. Um, you fly. You'll let me know. <laughs> Maybe it's better that way. All right, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this. Let's let me do this. Let me come up here now. And let me see if I. Since I know that's going to work. If I go to output here. No, that does not have the same effect. So this guy is good. Desktop is good. This guy is... N oh, wait. All right, are you hearing anything now? Well, okay, so we're close. <laughs> I, the problem is I don't hear it, so I don't have any... Like, if ATC was to talk to me or anything like that, I don't have... I, I can't hear that. Mm. All right. <laughs> hmm. I have some crazy filter on there somehow. Yeah, there's nothing on there, no filters. Alright, what am I missing? Performance, what's performance mode? Oh no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh, so close. <laughs> Undo the volume adjustment. No. Be in here, guys. It's got to be in here. So the headphone volume is turned up. My Yeti's working good. The desktop is muted. Oh, that's the. It's this guy. So now you're getting double. You're getting a double whammy. All right. So if I turn this off, I bet you don't hear anything anymore. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Bye, Jove. I think we may have a solution. Do you hear it? I now hear it. Hey, we might actually be able to go flying. Radical. Now, <laughs> we still have to, we still have to get the uh, ice off. And so, oh my goodness gracious, Mike! Thank you very much. That was awesome. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, yeah, thank you. All right. Well, let's um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Can, is to have the ability to clip that 30 minutes off i sure hope so i sure hope so okay so we are going to let's go to the fuel and payload and let's get things loaded up here holy cow that was a wrestling match to say the least oh we need 6280 pounds of fuel to make it and again, they're telling me that we don't have enough range. Simbrief is telling me that. So let's see. There's 4,000. See, there's 6,200. Yeah, see, I'm 38, say I'm 38 miles short. So. 
for us to do this, we need a halfway point. We need to stop somewhere, um, you know, somewhere kind of in here-ish. And so I was going to, I was thinking a little bit about maybe, I think we've got, I think Raleigh, Charlotte, what do I have here? That's about halfway in between. Let me, maybe a better map to look at would be, uh, Belanta. So I've got, I do have a Raleigh scenery. We could hit Raleigh or we could hit, um, like Nashville is about halfway. And, uh, I think maybe we'll do, let's do Nashville. Let's, let's do Nashville. So I'm going to adjust my, I'm going to adjust my, uh, my flight here and I, I wasn't I didn't believe sim brief but I thought I'd hop in the, the sim and see if it was in fact too far to go just slightly out of range so um, but that's okay that's okay so let's let's say we'll go to B and A instead and then so it'll be like a little bit of a two hopper which will probably be a little bit more fun to watch anyway because that way we have, uh, yeah, like a, like a two-hour flight instead of a four-and-a-half-hour flight. All right, so I'm going to make this, this adjustment in my route. And what I will also do is I'll give you guys a chance to um, earn or to, to grab more than one ticket to the giveaway. So let me put that in there. So we'll do one for the first leg and one for the second leg. And yeah, that'll get us at, that'll actually get us a little more than halfway, which is, which I think is just fine. Just fine. Okay, sweet. So let's, uh, pre-file this on the network. We do have some ATC here in the New York area. Cheesy, cheesy poof KC. Hello from Nashville. Hey, all right. We're going to, uh, we're, we're coming your way. Have the coffee ready for us. Um, all right. That, uh, should be ready to go filed and in business so yeah slight change of slight change of plans but we'll still make it all the way down to uh to george bush intercontinental by the time it's all said and done it's all a part of again our series we've been doing here for a little while called the bravo tour and basically the bravo tour is our attempt to visit all the class bravos in the united states and we have been doing it now for a couple of years, actually. We're about halfway through, if you can believe it. We've been doing a one or two a month. And, uh, you know, we're getting there, but we, we've got a ways to go yet. We need 4,000 pounds now. So I'm going to pull off the fuselage. Thank you. Hey. Holy cow, that is loud. <laughs> My lord. I gotta check my volume. <laughs> Thank you for for us grabbing hawker. You jump scared me, dude. All right, what's my volume been turned? Oh, it's only thirty one percent. Oh my gosh! Holy moly! Well, I guess everything's gonna be ultra loud today. <laughs> it's been one of those days, you guys. I'll tell you about it from as we get going here. Uh, but that's okay. For what I say, four thousand. Yeah. So I took all the fuselage tank weight off. I take the uh, tip tank weight down here, and there we go. A little over three three thousand nine hundred ninety is what we need. So that'll be that'll be just fine. All right, coolness. Um, GPU is there. I'm not going to show the passengers. And let's go down here. Let's get this. Let's get this ball rolling. Uh, BNA has an expanded class. Charlie recently went from four, four thousand ten miles to six thousand feet fifteen. Yeah, cool, cool. Had to pause FSX. It won't share the screen with Twitch. Ah, man, really? That's crazy. Okay. Well, I think we're ready to go now. So we've got covers removed. Fuel payload set. APU is is uh, on. We do have doors frozen shut at this point <laughs> and uh, um, we're going to get going here 
Emergency battery on. Let's uncage this guy here. Let's get our bats on. And uh, gear is down, confirmed down on my Bravo. Everything's in cut off here. And yep, cut off, cut off, cut off. Ox heat, AC. For now, all that stuff is off. Yeah, okay, cool. We'll be turning that on here shortly. The old computers are on, and we're going to go ahead and get this going. There's 10. Good start. Get number one going now. Oh, my goodness, Mr. Steam Egan. I don't know. I hope we can get these windshields. Uh, Defrosted here for us. Otherwise, uh, it just may not be in the cards today. It'll be a good test. Be a really good test for us. All right, that's a good start on number one. Okay, windshield heat coming on. We're going to go high. Oh man, that is loud. Okay, there we go. Now let me ask you this. Is the sound okay? Because in my ears, it's cutting out just a little bit. Does it? Has the sound been alright across the, across the stream? Okay, it just must be on my end here. Still don't know if I'm totally sold on these. I like partly what they give me in terms of the uh, like the freedom without having the big headset on here, but sound is good, cheesy, Mr. Egan. Okay, drill bar. Your PC is blinking though. Uh oh, <laughs> that's that's not good. All right, I've got. You have to turn that down just a little bit here. Seems really loud in my, my ears, so again, you'll have to help me with um, also with just overall balance and mix and all that good stuff. Thank you very much. All right, all that stuff looks good there. We need to get the, uh, we're getting ready to move here. Nav light coming on. Um, ox heat is on, and let's get the cabin air on here as well. I understand that, the, that Best Buy accepts old monitors for disposal. Oh, yeah, it's it's hard to get rid of that stuff anymore, isn't it? Alright guys, I gotta do this, I apologize, but my my volume level Oh that doesn't do anything for me. Okay. I need to go in here and adjust my properties just a little bit more. Hmm.
So if I if I do this, does that turn the, the level way down on the stream? Or is that just adjusting it in my in my ears? Last week the pressure was 2924. Holy moly. And now it's up to 3065. So it's it's still the same for you. You're still hearing it relatively okay. I don't want it to be too quiet, but man, it was really blasting my ears. Alright, let's go uh, radio altimeter, autopilot, uh, avionics master coming on here. And... Alright, so we have Kennedy ground, New York approach. I'm thinking we might contact New York Approach for our clearance here. So let me get uh, let me get what they have. It's information November altimeter two nine or nine or seven. Looks like they're using runway uh, four for departures. Okay, runway four it is. Very good. I guess we'll find out here. In just a moment, if if it's Kennedy, how's our windshield heat? Hey, look at that! All right, sweet, that worked good. Taz, system test okay. Okay, New York approaches on uh, twenty eight one two five. Oh my god! Oh, that's super loud! How was that ATC level? Was that as loud for you as it was for me? Alright, we're going to give him a call. Wow, that is loud. All right. That is so loud and <laughs> Derek departure November one one eight one six. Uh, yes, sir, on the ground, LaGuardia. I didn't know if you were issuing the uh, clearances for that airport. Whoa. Okay, uh, we'll just stay on uh, Unicom 122.8, November 11816. That was weird. Two for one there. All right, well. All right. Holy cow, that guy was loud. I got to change. Holy moly. Oh, downward Sim, this has been a disaster, my dude. Hello, family. I, uh, this is greetings from Central Missouri. Hello. I, um, Oh my gosh, I can't get my levels correct here. I am absolutely getting my eardrums blown out. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, uh, what what am I doing here? Uh, flight plan. Can I go back here? Yeah. So here's what happened. I, so I, went, I have a different pair of headphones now. 
and it has completely adjusted my all of my uh, audio levels and and um yeah so like i think i've got most of the things kind of back but the one thing that i don't have any control over right now is the the audio for uh um the uh, the input for v pilot and it just it's coming in like at a level 500 here it's just like crazy all right, I need it now. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Maybe this will help. Uh, okay, apply. I don't know. So anyway, just everything got reset. <laughs> I added, I, I stupidly added a, a new Bluetooth device to the mix. And so, yeah, yeah, my, my mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, my Lord. Well, okay, so... We need a departure here. And we can't make it all the way to Houston, so let's talk later about how you have your audio. Okay, sounds good. I know you're using voice meter, banana, and all that good stuff, and I tried to set that up one time. I know you, you had me kind of look at it at one point in time. Maybe it's time to actually fully commit to that now. It was it was over my head. Um but yeah, yeah, I, I need to, I guess. I just because right now what I have is just I'm gonna be uh probably without hearing by the time this is all said and done. Alright, can I do LaGuardia seven? That seems like it might be a good a good departure. Over to Park is Park one Park is one of my yep, let's do LaGuardia seven. And we'll get this thing going here. But, uh, yeah, so it's, let's just say it's not been the, uh, well, then that's not going to, why is that not going to be one of my options? Because it's just a, it's just a vector to a point is why. Okay, so let's go, let's put in our, let's put in our route. We're going to go to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, we're going to come out here to, Hmm. All right. Sorry, you guys. I am so off right now i was just trying to get everything back okay so we're gonna come out here to park that looks good then we're gonna go from park to from park maybe it's park to the juliet six airway then that takes us to uh, hqv Charleston, and then we'll hop on the uh, Juliet, or sorry, the Quebec 68 from there. And that takes us to Yaki. Sweet. Um... Load that in. Then I'm going to go to Nashville. So we have to make a stop midway because we don't quite have enough fuel. <laughs> but that's okay. It's going to give us a little a little break in the action. Um, Knoxville, and we're going to take the Palsy 4. And that's going to be from Groats. And we are expecting the uh, runway 2B. And we can grab an arrival after we get going here, I think. Let's just, or uh, an approach after we get going. Let's get that loaded in. And holy moly. 
<sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, okay, well, the good news is our windshields are cleared off, so we're at least feeling good about that. And um, that, yeah, that's a good thing. And uh, radio altimeter, avionics are on. What's my enunciator telling me I'm missing here? Pedo heat needs to come on here. Takeoff trim needs to get set. Yep, I'm not quite there yet. Actually, I'm right at that point, aren't I? Um, my departure barometric pressure here again is uh, 299 or 7. And all right, that looks good. And we're just gonna we're just gonna rock it on up since we're clearing completely clearing out of the uh, area here. We're gonna get just get ourselves going straight on up to cruise altitude, which for today's flight is forty thousand feet. All right. Hey, Jepresta. Welcome. That's set. Altimeter set. We can come down here and uh, set the flaps to flaps eight. Let's get the trim. Let's move down here to about halfway, right about five. We'll go ahead and uh, turn the steering lock on. And I don't need anything else down here for now. Although we'll power the yaw dampers on and we'll engage them as we get going here in just a little bit. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks again for coming in, you guys. And thanks for your patience while I sorted out that little audio issue that we had right there. Hopefully the rest of the flight will go uh, will go more smoothly. So we have currently, um, I'm going to have to get my, uh, my takeoff numbers here, you guys. Um, we're basically here at sea level and... Our temperature is minus four, so let's see, minus four and sea level would put us right in about the 80, right about 89-ish for my uh, N1, so let's uh, set that here, about 89.2 five-ish as a reminder okay that looks good and our weight our weight we are currently um total weight's 15,000 so 15,000 and i tell you yeah, I just two things are telling me that we can't make it, so I don't. I just I better not push it, <laughs> especially if we're fighting icing. And we've been on the ground for a little while here too. So, um, so fifteen thousand would give us about uh, about one thirty and one thirty two. All right, so one thirty. For VR and 132 V2. Okay, that looks good there. And, uh, yeah, let's do a quick taxi brief and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So we are expecting runway four, which is kind of nice because we're right down here where we're close to runway four. This is us, Terminal A. Not really like an FBO. This is probably the, one of the worst airports to have the biz jet in because there's, it's this is just nothing but passenger terminals. But 
Uh, we're just going to swing down here, Alpha Charlie to Alpha Alpha. We'll be on our way on uh, runway four, and then again we are we are departing on the LaGuardia seven departure. I am, I am at a gate. <laughs> There's no non-gate non-gated airports or uh, spots here in default LaGuardia. So, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make an immediate left-hand turn to uh, hopefully get right in the way of Teterboro. No, let's see, what are we doing here? Um, we are going to park, right? So we need ex we're going to get vectors to BZW. And I don't see I don't see an alt an initial altitude. Here we go. Here we go. Runway four. Okay. Hold on here. Bronx climb failing. Nope. Sounds. Nope. That's not us. That's not us. That's not us. Looks like top altitude's five thousand. All right, so we'll stop at five, actually. Um, this really isn't like, like we're going here. Hmm. This is going to be the lack of immersion. <laughs> Way back when CFM used to fly Learjets out of, oh, he really? So it is sort of, ah, oh, thanks, Connor. Welcome, by the way. All right, so I'm a little, uh, I'm a little leery about this departure now, all of a sudden. Um, because we want, we're going to park, expect vectors to BZW, where the heck is, yeah, BZW Broadway. So, like, to me, it, it means you, you head out, you turn, you go, you're going to go right over the top of Teterboro, basically. That's what we're going to do. If we get hollered at, so be it. I don't think we've got, if we had New York... And we don't. We don't have anybody. So that's what we're going to do. And if we uh, if we end up in the way, then I'll uh, I will apologize. All right. Passenger anti ice is uh, is going to be required today. So let's go ahead and make sure we have all that on here. Um, these heaters can come on. Pedo heat can come on. Maybe it's a little early for pedo heat, honestly, but that's all right. Um, taxi lights coming on here. And wing heat can come on. I think we're okay there. Yeah, let's get this turned up here as well to uh, 40,000 and we'll be in business. Okay. You're back. We're we're better now, yep, JPC. We are better now and um I hope We'll find out here in just a second. All right. Uh, actually, stand by for a second.
Annie West reminding you to read the chat. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. So this is a question for JPC if you're still here. I just want to make sure I'm not going to get in the way of of uh, of Teterboro, which is right here. So I know you don't you don't cover LaGuardia generally, but if I've given myself the LaGuardia seven departure, we are taking ourselves over here to park. Let me just make sure I'm reading this correctly. Park departures. We're going to expect radar vectors to BZW to the BZW VOR, which is Broadway right here. Um, so that means if we're departing on runway four, we're going to be taking a left and we're going to kind of be going right past Teterboro. We're going to go right over the top. Where would you expect? Like, I want to, I want to not be in the way, basically. Need to look at the climbs. So the climbs, these guys here, or these guys, okay. All these climbs, though, they go, they all go north. Flushing, Sound, Balaam, Bronx. This is off of runway 31. I know I should hold 5,000, but uh, anyway, I'm just worried that I'm going to be in the wrong, in the, in a bad spot. It's probably hard to read that. Um, part of me thinks, could I loop around this way and come come back around to the south? But like, if I do that, am I going to get in the way of departures and arrivals? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I just know that I'm that there are some people. So JPCs that stand by, because there are some people on at Teterboro right now they're using runway four so Teterboro does have control and uh, this is me and it's like it's like a thing it's going to be hard and even if I cut and come south like that's that's they might be arriving that way so I don't necessarily want to do that do I go way up north and get out I don't know see that's the whole thing so I just don't I don't know it almost makes sense to kind of come back around this way, but then you have Newark also to uh, contend with. And, uh, yeah, so it's a dilemma. It's a dilemma. Bronx climb, okay. So Bronx climb, we would head 360, and we would climb to, okay, left turn heading 360, climb and maintain 5,000. So then you just kind of get... Basically, you're just going to get up here kind of clear of everything and then turn on course. Is that is that what you would do? Like, let me get up there four or five minutes and... Okay, okay, all right. We will plan on that then. Thank you for your clarification, JPC. So I need to make sure I set that then. Say do the 360 for like 10 miles and then turn. All right, all right, perfect. So let's uh, let's set that. Oh, that's already we're set at 360 right now. Sweet. Okay, very good. Now can I just turn here? I bet I can. Just want to turn to get the heck out of Dodge. Avert your eyes, you guys, because I'm gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna just gonna get going. Oh, you guys aren't aren't gonna want to listen to this either. The clickers and the clackers, you're not going to want, I know. And actually, this is not, this is not totally uh, accurate there, Matsif. I need to update that. I will update that. We're going to, uh, we're going to Nashville first, then we're going all the way down to, to, uh, George Bush. So welcome, by the way. First time chatter. Okay, we're heading down here. Just Matt's? All right. Good to have you. I'm going to try to get down here to Alpha Charlie. And I actually do think there's a taxiway over here somewhere. Getting a little darkish. Is this East Coast or something? What the heck? 
All right, Alpha Charlie, where are you? Wherefore art thou? I think I just went by it. Might be here. I'm not even close to being on my uh, route. Well, thank you. I appreciate you being here. And uh, it has been... It's the only good thing that's happened so far. I guess we're going to take Yankee Yankee. Because we're not making it all the way down there. We missed our turn. But, uh, yeah, thank you. Am I a Boeing or an Airbus fan? Yes. I am. Oh, you mean which one? <laughs> I am a, uh, I'm a jack of all planes, master of none. That's right. If a washing machine had wings, I'd try to fly it. Steering on windshield heat, all that stuff looks good. We're going to go ahead and arm the thrust reversers. We're going to do that. And... Um, we need to go ahead and put the uh, air ignitions on as well. And I think we're good. I think we're good. The party of traffic. Lurch at 11816 is departing runway 4 at Yankee Yankee. We'll be a northbound climbing out of the area. LaGuardia. All right. 2280. I haven't heard anybody talking, which makes me very, very nervous. I'm going to check my device here. Uh, but yeah, I think. Test, test. Yep, everything's working. My stuff is working. But to not hear any other Unicom traffic in this area it does make me a little nervous i'm um, so for those of you new to the to the channel first of all hello welcome i'm breaking in a new pair of uh of earbuds and it's totally thrown like my entire audio system off here and uh so <laughs> I'm, I'm all sorts of messed up now does this mean i've got ice left engine ice that's bad right I have the anti-icing on. Let's just double check here. Before we get going too far. Whoops. Sorry guys, everybody's back there sleeping. Uh, um, heat, 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 heat. Dave... So it winks to, you know what, I don't have, where is my engine anti-icing? Holy cow, you guys, I am lost. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be allowed near an aircraft, even a simulated one. Okay, that's fine. In true vintage jet fashion, they put <laughs> they put stuff all over the place. Um, all right, well, I don't know. We're going to roll with it. Okay, so again, I'm looking for 89 and a half for my, uh, my fan speed. We're going to rotate at 120, sorry, 130, and we're going to climb out northbound on a 360. Here we go. Give me just one moment here, guys, and I'll catch up to the chat. The chatty chat. Ooh, a little bit uh, a little bit breezy. Traffic, traffic, traffic going off. I'm not hearing anything. That's bad. Whoa. Whoa. Holy cow. Is it really that windy here? Man, oh, man. All right, positive rate is uh, indicating. Here comes the gear. Here comes the stutter. We're gonna gauge yaw damper. Should help a little bit. Let's turn three six zero.
on the altitude. We're going to go heading select. We're going to engage. We are going to go... Uh, we'll go speed mode right here, actually. We actually got a little quick there. Ooh, and we've rolled right through the altitude, which is not good. Okay, let's go altitude hold, please. We're already 2,000 feet too high. Oh, my lord. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's bad. In this airspace, that's bad. Very, very bad. I want to go back down here. We're going to go here. We're going to vertical speed back down here. And uh, even though we're a little sloppy coming out here, we can still get ourselves back down to 5,000. Out, select. I had forgotten to reset my altitude is why I blew through that restriction there, guys. That was bad. The Avgeek. Hey, is oh, you're in the Phenom 300 right now. Oh, that's a great plane. I love that plane. Love that plane. Downwind sim, oh hey, my washing machine is is apart right now. <laughs> I'll see if I can fly it. Yeah. Yes, indeed, sir. All right, I got to get that back down here to... Uh, well, I'm way over speeding. I am making a complete mess of this departure, you guys. Holy cow. Yep, so it's disconnected my autopilot because I'm over speeding. Let's slow down. We're, st we're just going to try to stay 360 here. And just hand fly it down to 5,000 if we can. There comes the speed. So we're doing a little bit better now. And uh, through some bumpity bumps, unfortunately. Yep, all right. Well, ho okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's go off of alt select, or off of alt hold. Let's go back to, there we go, that's more uh, gentle. Alt cell, vertical speed. Choose me. Kevin is here, hello, hello. And we have uh, mats, maybe there's just no one in the area. Um, are you sure that I have 2280 set as the active? I do, I do, but it's just interesting that, uh, like I say, I'm not hearing anybody, and I technically should be not on 2,000 either, so let's do that. But um, anyway, we've uh, we've made a mess of this, Maddie. Sorry. Um, it'll be fine, Afki Central. <laughs> Oh, uh, can't get a, can't get a haircut for a week and a half, and I'm putting the barber pole in your face. Yes, indeed, sir. Look at that. That's nice. Hey, let me get out of your way here. I want a picture of that. Real time, real weather, guys. You haven't heard anyone this whole flight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't either. So that's I, like I'm saying in in this neighborhood, that's not normal. But we did we did talk to ATC um, early on, so I know that everything uh, from a comm standpoint was working, at least at one point. I'm still trying to get back down to five thousand. I'm just trying to get north out of the way <laughs> uh the anti-ice is is behind the yoke yeah so i've got so the one thing i didn't find mats is i didn't find the uh engine anti-icing i've got everything else turned on here that i think i need um i don't have the windshield radome turned on because i don't know what that is um but i thought there was a I thought there was... Let's get you out of the way here, sir. I thought there was an engine anti-icing somewhere. But... But I'm not sure. Which Learjet is this one? This is the... Um, this is the uh, Fly Simware Learjet. 
the L35. And we got some uh, football coming on later, so we better turn that on. Uh oh, no power to the uh, to the old uh, black and white TV. All right, we're at five thousand finally. That's the good news. The bad news is we are. It took us about five minutes to get there, and we've pissed off everybody in the Kennedy and. Uh, Newark airspaces. <laughs> uh, all right. So I think we're ready to what uh, what JPC was saying is head out on the Bronx transition and then we are going to radar vector ourselves to park. And um and that will uh more or less yeah, more or less get us where we want to go. All right, so we're going to go park. Let's activate that. Let's come up here. Let's go to nav. We'll make our turn. And I think at this point we're, we probably already screwed everybody up in the entire area. So let's go ahead. We might as well just climb on up. Gotten a little slow in the meantime as well. How about a little bit of juice? Eighty nine point five is the was the initial. So let's get our temps up there somewhere around eight hundred. That'll probably be enough. And we'll be on our way. And we'll troubleshoot as we go. The first half an hour of the stream, by the way, was just nothing but us troubleshooting. So, you know, what the heck? It's it's gonna just be one of those deals. Alright, let's get the um let's get things climbing here. All right, that ought to work. Vertical speed at about 2,000. And we'll just go ahead again, like I said, push this all the way up to 40,000. My squawk is 4070 on similar. No kidding. Oh, this has really been a weird, weird stream. Forty seventy, is that a bad squawk code? Why do I think that's a bad squawk code? I want to make sure I'm not squawking something bad, like that'll get me banned off of a bat sim. <laughs> Forty seventy, I think that's okay. All right, we can go up a little bit more. I'd like to climb at about 250. That's the goal. So we'll engage vertical speed. We'll go a little bit more aggressive on our climb out. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Pentagon's here. M. Stein, returned victorious from the grocery store. Love it. Love it, sir. We're in the air. That's about all I can see. having a pretty sunset departure, which is uh, nothing wrong with that. I think I might like this one better. There we go. There's a good thumbnail. All right. This is Learjet 35. Maddie, that's correct. All right, back in... And we've kind of got a little bit slow here, but that's okay. I can give us a little bit more power. We're through ten thousand, so let's get some let's get some lights turned off here. And uh, our passengers can move about the cabin here. We'll also turn the recogs off, and uh, yeah, we'll be okay. I'm going to do a little Unicom radio check. And New York area Unicom radio check. Yes, 
something's not right here, guys. If I go to... So let's do this. Let me see if I've... I should be able to pick up approach still. One, 122. Let's, let's, I'm going to tune in LaGuardia or Kennedy approach. Just see if I'm hearing anything. Nope, nothing there. How about... How about Boston Center, 3470? Yeah, I think something's going on here. Boy, all these things you think you have figured out, but you don't. Microphone device is my Yeti, and you can see I'm doing good there. This is, maybe I need to go hands-free audio. Good Lord Almighty, that is. So I'm picking up two frequencies here. Wow. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was. Picking up two frequencies there, and that's still really, really loud. Incredibly loud. I almost feel like maybe I should just go offline with this until I get this part figured out. Alright, back to uh, Unicom. And where would that second frequency be coming from? Holy cow. So I don't have, there's no second radio in here. But I'm also a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit weirded out that my squawk code is different than what I have entered in here. So, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. We, we may be going back to the old pair of headphones. Which, so be it. They're not, they're not bad. The, the only thing I didn't like about them, well, the main thing I didn't like about them is that the, uh, the, uh, batteries were only lasting for about 30 minutes now. And so I had to have them plugged in the whole time, which again, wasn't a bad thing, except for the cord that was coming out of my USB. It would rub against my arm and give me a little shock every once in a while. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I, that, that's probably not good. So anyway, but I've tried now. This is my second different um, earbud solution that I've tried. And so far I'm not having the luck that I would like to have. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Matt wants to wants to see the intercept. Yeah, let's let's not have that happen. I hope we don't have to have that happen. All right, wing heat coming off here. Um, put that off as well. And windshield heat. We'll leave that on its screen. We can turn the air ignitions off at this point in time. And yeah, I think we're flying. We're actually flying. Now, if we can just make it up to 40,000 without um, getting in anybody's way, we'll be in business. You know, the one thing, though, that I remember there being, I remember there being a, there was a little bit of a mixer. JPC, remember when you showed me, like, there's that little bit of a mixer that you can bring up from your, uh, from your windows. It's just 
That way, it, maybe I don't have to go through voice meter banana. I might have to take five minutes here. Am I using the palsy four star into Nashville? I believe so. Volume mixer. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me pull that up here. Volume mixer. All right. Ooh. Ah, there is the ticket. Ah, ha ha. Okay. That will that that's not maybe a long term solution, but that will help me for now. Thank you for that, JPC. So yes, um, that is the that is the arrival that we are planning. Palsy four from the Grote transition runway two left is what we're looking for when we get there. Just wait till we fall out of the sky because of the anti ice not being on. <laughs> well, I think we are. And I guess I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't assume here, but I think we're out of anti-icing um, danger. Danger, danger, danger. Once again, I'm searching for a. Gauge that I can always find until I need to find it, which is the outside air temp. This is the uh, this is the drawback of flying too many aircraft. <laughs> you you think you remember where something is when you're remembering where it is actually located in a different airplane. But uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's uh, named after Brad Paisley, not Palsy. Then Paisley, yeah, very good. Okay, yeah. When we brief that, we'll try to keep that in mind. It's uh, music related. Nashville, that I mean, that makes total sense, right? Total sense. I've got my cloud um, settings turned down just a little bit. My sim, uh, my rig can't quite run it at the highest max, so these clouds look a little bit more like uh, like the foam on top of your latte than maybe. Maybe what they really would look like, but it still looks kind of nice, I think, you know. Kevin's happy to pick me up when I get to the airport. I'll give you, yeah, I'll uh, I'll text you when I'm uh, 45 out. <laughs> well, we're gonna keep going though. We gotta go. We're just down. We're we're just stopping in uh, Nashville for the uh, the cheap av gas, and then we gotta keep going down to uh, gotta keep going down to George Bush Intercontinental. Ooh, my wife might be up. Maybe she's going to feed the dogs. That'd be good. Good. Um, November 11816. 
is my call sign, Matt. Happy to bring a barbecue sandwich and sweet tea. Oh, heck yeah, buddy. I would take that. I would take that. All right. 40,000 is our goal. We've got about another three and a half to run. We're not really climbing like a, like a bat out of Hades here, but we're kind of up in those high flight levels, and it takes a little while, but shouldn't take us too long to get leveled out. Then we can kind of set our cruise and... Sit back and relax, you guys. It's been an interesting start to our giveaway stream. By the way, if you're here and you have not yet typed exclamation point giveaway, please do that. You get a raffle ticket to be uh, drawn at the end of the stream for a $25 gift card. And I, since I've had to make it a two-leg um, stream, I'm going to give you one ticket for this first leg and then... When we depart from uh, Nashville down to Houston Intercontinental, I'll give you a chance to get another one. So, Matt, it's a it's a gift card. Normally, they are flight sim related, but um, but it could be used for whatever whatever you want. Usually, um, I will just get a gift card. Like, uh, well, traditionally, I guess I should say not usually, but traditionally, I've gotten I've given away Org Store uh, gift cards for X Plane fans. Um, I've also done, uh, though, just like a little PayPal transfer and you can spend $25 buying your sweetie pie, some chocolates or whatever down when Sim keeps wanting to win. So he can, uh, put, uh, $25 towards, uh, washing machine repair. He, he can't afford St. Louis downtown washing machine, uh, mechanics. So he's, he's still holding out for that down when Sim, he's, uh, he's got his ticket. He's got his ticket. <laughs> all right so if let me just back up here let me just back up here so iowa scotsman i don't know uh, I, ron i hope i said thank you for 32 months i, I hope i said thanks to uh, flying with mike for coming in with the uh, with the raid and texas one flyboy Actually, that was four days ago, man. Um, if you're around, thanks again for the uh, for the reascription as well. And Mike Stein, thanks for a hundred bits <laughs> for the IT consultant budget. I think it's supposed to go the other way, though, right? And uh, Sim Mister Egan, thank you for the 32-bit Shamrock cheer. That was awesome. Um, and then Hawker 125, I know you snuck in kind of in the middle of the chaos. Thank you for 26 months. And Matt's. Uh, Maddie, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the follow and good luck. Make sure you get your ticket. The Av Geek Central's got his ticket. Iowa Scotsman's got his ticket. Thank you very much again for playing, you guys. Um, love giving, loving doing these giveaways because uh, what they represent is essentially your generosity to the channel, and that's where the money's coming from. And I. As much as I love the uh, subscriptions and all that stuff, it, I mean, it helps the channel grow and whatever. It it, it allows us to put some some new air, aircraft in the air and mess around, have fun with them. But uh, but the but the funnest thing is to is to go ahead and uh, and give it back in on these giveaways because I love hearing stories of of how you know you spend it and what what you know aircraft you get with it as well. So anyway. Um, I, American 304. See, all right, I am picking up. This is not, I'm not squawking, or I'm not talking to Unicom right there. See, this is, I'm receiving something from, like, like, I think that there's, I think there's a little bit of a calm um, glitch. And I think that's why we're not hearing anybody. Because even though this is showing 2280, we actually were picking up um, a frequency that we really weren't, really weren't showing. So that's interesting. Uh, anyway, all right, uh, Dropart, you've got yours. Dirty sack. You're in, buddy. 
Best of luck to you guys. All right, well, it's Bravo Tour time. Let me tell you just a little bit about the Bravo Tour. And uh, here's what we've been doing in the Bravo Tour. So our goal, again, um, to visit all of the class Bravo airstrips in the, uh, in the U.S. And there's 46, 38, something like that of them. And these are the ones we've done so far. We went Denver to Nellis Air Force Base back in December of 2021. <laughs> I know I'm usually on Saturday nights, yeah. I, I moved it up a little bit because I, I'm thinking we we may have some plans later on today, but also I just it was a little bit of a longer stream, and so I thought, yeah, let's get going a little bit earlier. But uh, we did that back in, I think, in X.11 in the A310. Then we went to uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul, uh, did actually a two hopper in the in the MD eighty two um, St. Paul to uh, or Nellis to St. Paul, St. Paul to Houston. That was uh, also in December of two thousand twenty one. Then in um, January uh, we did the the Saab three forty from Houston over to Orlando. That was that was a lot of fun. We went from Orlando up to Edwards Air Force Base in the seven five seven. Also in January that first year. Uh, then we took a little bit of a break. <laughs> it wasn't until um, uh, March that we went to Las Vegas in the 747. Then we popped up to Seattle in um, April in the Q400. Then we went all the way across to Newark in the uh, 727 200. That actually was a stream where we had a little bit of a sim crash. And so I had to finish that one uh, offline, but, but uh, we made her. And then we went down to Miami. Um, in uh, July of 22 in the 737 all the way up to San Francisco another one of those really long haul cross cross country deals uh, in the 747 and then uh, from Sa uh, San Fran back down to New Orleans in the 737 and that kind of wrapped up 2022 we got like 11 legs done and uh, then we got slowed down a little bit <laughs> we slowed down we went to Atlanta that was uh, February of 23 in the uh, in the the uh, BAE 146. Then we went to San Diego in the Tolis 321 up to uh, back over to Reagan. That was a long one in the 737 and uh, Philly in the King Air. That was a lot of fun. Um, and then. Uh, down to uh, or back over to Kansas City again 737 we went um, I don't remember where this one was this was a uh, this was a military base wasn't it was this Miramar I think this was Miramar yeah Kansas City to Miramar Air Force Base down there by San Diego in the 747 then we hopped in the Bell 412 for a little short hop from Miramar up to LA and then LAX uh, we took the MD-11, the Rotate MD-11, up to Cleveland. And then a two-hopper on our last one. We went from Cleveland to Detroit and Detroit to LaGuardia in the MD-80. So we had a little bit of a McDonnell Douglas uh, deal. And that closed out 2023. So we, we were able to get about another 10 legs in. And now here's our first one in 2024, LaGuardia to Intercontinental. What's my VMAX? Uh, this is going to be... Oh, I'm about right at it right now. Um, in fact, I'm going to pull back a little bit here. We'll be doing, depending on the wind, we'll be doing, you know, between 400 to 450 knots across the ground here. Um, but I've never, I've never flown the 7.8. I understand that there's a, a pretty cool freeware Horizon mod for the, uh, for Microsoft Flight Sim, but I don't have, I don't have the, uh, the premium deluxe version. Hi. Two things.
where was I? Um, so, all right. So Matt, I, yeah, I, I get the range deal and the, the audio for rat sim has that range, but the, but I think what was happening there is this. I think we were showing 12280 on the uh, on the com radio, and I think we were showing it on V Pilot. But I think we actually were um, we were receiving a different frequency, and uh, and I'm not sure why or how that is because I'm only I'm only monitoring and. Uh, my mic is only uh, working off of uh, COM one here. I don't have I don't have the ability unless I unless I have this turned on down here somehow, which maybe I do. Maybe I can turn that off. Maybe it's trying to. Maybe it's reading that as well. That could possibly be twenty four eighty five. But I know that there was a a little bit of a of an audio glitch that was reported from TDI. Um, I don't see anybody transmitting on this right now. I don't see any any center frequencies or anything on twenty four eighty five. But it's possible that might have been our our um, that might have been what we were also were hearing. Anyway, there was a. The uh, the TDI folks um, or the TDS folks that make this GTN have reported a a little bit of an audio bug, a little glitch, and uh, that was uh, it was related to the frequencies changing kind of without intentionally being changed. <laughs> I guess is the way to uh, to express it. But so that so I certainly might have been out of range there that might have been part of the deal but i also think that it was uh i also think that it was maybe reading a, a cross frequency there potentially i don't know though i don't know all right um what was i gonna do oh i was gonna let's we need to draw so so we have um we have these uh, all these airports here still to choose and the next leg will be from george bush intercontinental all of these guys here that are not green are um they are potential uh, spots that we're going to go and we have all of those listed on our good old wheel of names spinner so it's time kind of everybody's favorite time of the bravo tours to uh to click and spin and see where we're going to be going and then what i do depending on where we're going is i put out a list of potential airplanes and then you guys vote on the airplane that you'd like to see me fly in and that's kind of how that goes every now and again we'll have two legs that are close enough together that we can do two for the price of one and uh and then we also have to uh be forewarned i don't know that there's any if like like what we try to stay away from is if like like if you are at uh, LaGuardia and you draw Newark like that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> so if it's something super super close, we will uh, we will respin. So here we go. And yes, Honolulu is still out there. I know you guys all want that. You all want that. It is going to be all right. It's going to be Memphis next. Very nice. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Now the cool thing about memphis here is that might be actually short enough that we can do two flights on that day so i'm going to go ahead and get the next one here as well and if it's possible we might do two legs two sectors on this next one it's going to be is it pittsburgh it is pittsburgh all right so i'm going to, have to take a look at that and see memphis to pittsburgh and uh yeah that we we might be able to do like that might be kind of a nice uh, 737 little two hopper but uh anyway i will let you know i will let you know on that and uh we will set that up for set that up for uh february memphis tennessee so i know everybody's wanting that honolulu flight 
but uh, you're all wanting it from like Boston. I know, I know you guys. It's not enough to to uh, fly over the ocean. You want me to have to fly from the uh, from the farthest reaches. So uh, the one after that is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So that would be a. Uh... All right. Can I check for the anti-ice switch to the left portion of the pilot's? Are you talking about on the actual pilot's yoke? Or beyond them? Because uh, this part I did have on. Wing heat, NAC heat, windshield heat, pedo heat. But I was never able to... Um, I was never able to find the engine anti-icing or engine de-icing. And I'm almost positive there is one here. There's Over here is the stall warning heat... Um, oh, NAC is engine cells. Okay, okay, there you go. Very good. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. I did not realize that. Thank you. All right, so we're good there. So, it's good that I had, I put those on. And everything else is, uh, it's good. It's good. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So, okay, I, um, we're just about two hours in. I try to take a little stretch break every hour or so. I think this is a good time for me to maybe do my first stretch break here. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take just a quick little break out of the flight deck. I'm just double checking to see if I am busting anybody's airspace here, no. But it does look like we'll have some, maybe some ATC down here. Um, yeah, of course, looks like Nashville uh, departures online. Maybe in between. I don't know. It'll be a good time for me just to do it now in case Washington comes online and then we have to uh, have a chance to talk. Um, boy, that's going to be interesting to, to make sure that my... Um, Make sure my comp frequencies are working correctly. Hey, uh, all right. Well, anyway, I'll be right back, guys.
Yeah, you got to read them the classics. I mean, and and they've got to learn young. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm a grandpa. That's my grandson. In fact, all the sounds that you hear, well, a lot of them are uh, are from him. And that is a good book. Yep, yep. Uh, could I do the Memphis to Pittsburgh in the 787? Well, again, Matt, Maddie, I would like that, but... I actually don't have a 787, uh, unfortunately. And uh, I am, I am, how old am I? 55. I'm not as old as Down One Sin. Now, that guy's old. That guy's old. I'm one of them new, young, hip grandpas. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Um, time to Volanta stock. Since we were over here a little bit as well. That's right, grand dude. There you go. <laughs> yeah, me and me and Iowa Scotsman, we're, we're kind of young. Kind of those young old guys. So let's see. We are currently cruising. Oh, let's do this. Let's uh, put in Nashville as our intermediate stop here Ooh, and i'm liking the look of this you guys you know when i when i picked this um picked this day to do this flight it was mainly just out of convenience uh, of my schedule but you never know what you're going to get in terms of coverage and this is starting to look really good you know we didn't have any coverage here unfortunately we just about had new york pop on there but there's a little too late nothing yet here but but uh, potentially we could be getting some coverage down here in Nashville and then um, all the way down to to Intercontinental. Whoops, that's Hobby, but uh, I think uh, George Bush, yeah, George Bush is down here. So that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> um, I'm ready. I, like uh, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, AARP stuff sent to me. I'm like, yeah, let's go, bring it on, man. I'll take whatever. Give me whatever money that you want to give me, man. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's see. Sphinxonian. He's coming up. He's heading to uh, to Cincinnati. And I'm not sure where he started. C Y H M. I don't know where that is. But in the seven six seven. Probably doing a little cargo hauling. Let's see who else is uh, buzzing around here. 987 or 989 Juliet Tango is O'Hare to Denver in the triple seven. Ah, very nice, very nice. What's uh, what's Nixie Connor Nix is doing? What's he doing? He is. We're not sure. He's taxiing to a runway, but we don't know where he's at. Pure luck. He's doing his world tour, and he's got a little South American leg here. Very nice. He's got. Uh, Sergeant Child following along with him as well, as always. Very cool. Heading down there to uh, the tip, right? Tierra del Fuego. Is that where that is? No, or that that's Cape Horn, I guess. Nope. Cape Horn, Tierra del Fuego. I can't remember which is which. I think this is Tierra del Fuego. Um, and then, uh, oh, yeah, I already saw Sphinx. Yeah, not too many, not too many of my friends flying. 56 offline here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. So pretty good ATC right here, kind of in the uh, eastern central portion of the U.S. Looks like maybe like a little bit of coverage down here at San Juan area. A um, little surprised don't have anything down here in South America. They almost always have something going. But it is a little early yet. It's only 3.30, which is an uh, hour and a half before kind of prime time. Uh, Europe starting to starting to settle down here. Man, they had a big event over here today. Um, kind of in Malaysia, big old lots of lots of flights going in and out of some different spots. Um, but kind of cool. And then L.A. Center is uh, hopping on. Yeah, baby, here we go. Just added a new friend. Added, uh, added, uh, Dre, I think Dre, 
or Dr. Alexander. Very nice. So let's volant to stock you. And we will be, we'll get judgy, Dr. Alexander. <laughs> hey, uh, the, the XDER also followed a little bit ago. Thank you. Welcome to the, uh, to the follow. Looks like you're heading down to Pensacola. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. It's just about time to judge. Oh, that's you? <laughs> All right. I mean, we're going to judge your landing rate, buddy. So be ready. You better butter that sucker. No. No, just joking. Just joking. Um, Cape Horn is Africa. All right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tierra del Fuego, that's the that's the one that the, uh, the reason they built the Panama Canal, isn't it? Do I have uh, MSFS Premium? I do not. I do not. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Um, and you're getting ad breaked. So I'll wait. I'll wait to answer till the ad's done. Yeah. So Matt, no, I don't have that, unfortunately. I, I, I just dipped my toe in the water when this first came out and I only bought the basic edition and uh yeah so I miss I'm missing out on some pretty some pretty awesome mods honestly I kind of regret not just not going all in but to to go all in right now it's uh like I'm like, I don't know if I want to because I, I don't know how close Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 is. And, you know, the name would imply that it might come out this year. So do you hold on or what? I'm not sure. And uh, we got somebody uh, doing a little flyby here. But uh, anyway, hopefully that's uh, in the near future. Yeah, the the Kuro and the also the uh, right the whole Horizon mod for I don't know if that's for the seven eight but yeah there's a there's a couple of pretty awesome freeware projects out there for sure. But at the time, I mean, right when it first came out, I was uh, I was unsure. I just didn't know how good it was going to be. And, uh, so, you know, I just, I, I think what I started out with was the $1 trial from Xbox. <laughs> um, and I, you know, loaded in and, and liked it enough to, to like buy the, the basic edition. It was kind of in my budget. So, but, uh, yeah, I was Scotsman. You're kind of, you're kind of in the same boat. Yeah. I mean, you, you would get, I think there's uh, six or seven more airports that are, you know, handcrafted that you would have access to. I mean, you'd get your money's worth out of it. And and some of those, like the Kuro mod or the, uh, the Horizon mod, um, you know, would be uh, would be worth it at all. Oh, base to final. Here comes. Uh, <laughs> all right, this will be... Probably a little bit of a delay here, won't it? But I don't know how how close it is to real time. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back and yeah, it almost looks like you're on base leg. Landing northbound there. Because I think... I think it's not it's not cheap right all right we'll come back we'll come back and check on uh on app geek central i don't even know honestly i don't even know where you'd go to do it like like probably just in the marketplace there right what is the price Remember, it was on sale during the Black Friday deal. Click bundle. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how much it would cost. I think when I checked before, though, it was uh, it was like another sixty bucks or something. Premium, if I could spell, it would help. Eighty-four, yeah, eighty-five bucks from the base game. So, yeah, it was enough. That's like, eh, eh. I really like, I really like what I have right now. In, uh, yeah, it's pretty close to being real time here. Yeah, man, that's and because I think I think initially. Like it was 120 or something, so I mean it definitely would have been worth getting if you were if you were all in on that. But I just, like I said, I just wasn't quite. All right, we'll come back. We'll check on the progress here because uh, we're getting to the point where we're gonna have to start thinking descent ourselves here. But. You know, I guess so. Ninety dollars. Let's say it's ninety bucks. So, let's say you get seven more airports. You know, airports these days are running twenty bucks a piece. So, that right there, you know, pays for that. If you get the Kuro mod, seems like there's a pretty good mod for the TBM. I mean, like, like it would be worth it, but you. Like, then you're turning it around, you know, later on and buying, buying the entire new game again anyway. So, yeah, I might just stay where I'm at here. I do. I hope Nashville stays on. I definitely do. Yeah, worth it for how long? How much will I use it over the remaining months? I know, right? Because I've, I kind of have a sense that, you know, well, I don't know. Most of the time, when the new game comes out, the new version comes out, like it's not, it's not ready to go just out of the box. You know, there's some cool things and all that, but like. Obviously, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 was uh, pretty rough around the edges for a while, and X Plane 12, same you know, same deal. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Like, like you might, you may still fly it for quite a while. So then I then I get to thinking, um, Susie, I'm like, well, if you know, if you get it now, you're going to get the maximum amount of enjoyment that you possibly could, <laughs> right? First time chatter is, um, is Dur Pilot 74 Hi, how's it going? You hate R and have approaches. <laughs> Two right is in use, is what Maddie's telling me. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So Sim uh, Sim Brief has given us two left, so we'll have to make a little bit of an adjustment there yeah so we're volanta stocking um the avgeek central on final here into pensacola and uh, he is flying the beautiful um, phenom 300 came in from uh, louisville down to pensacola we're going to be all kinds of judgy two left for visual oh okay gotcha Cheesy Poof loves the uh, RNAV approaches in this sim. Yeah. Two centers, what they're using for departures. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Okay, I just want to go back and forth and make sure nothing's on fire. <laughs> this, I get a little nervous uh, looking away from this aircraft because it is a fairly high maintenance uh, bird. Even though once you get it up and kind of get it leveled out, it, it does all right.
Oh, here we go. Here we go. I've never really Volanta stalked someone all the way in to uh, to see what their landing stats are. I've not, uh, I've not planned or briefed the arrival just yet, Matt. I'm going to do that as soon as, as soon as we get our feet on boy on the ground here. Over the Bayfront Departments. I don't think I've been to Pensacola in the sim. There we go, baby. <laughs> the suspense is killing us. Pretty soon this thing will be like flight radar 24, right? You'll be it'll be updating in real time and instead of a 5 second delay. This reminds me of how VatSim used to be. Remember that? Remember the 5 second updates? Oh, it was so tough to so tough to fly with people. Traffic 12 o'clock at flight level 335. Outside view K coming, coming in just a second, Matt. You now he's down. I don't think it'll give us any statistics quite yet. All right, we'll come. We'll come back. We'll check on that, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that's see how we're doing here. All right, here's your outside view, sir. Last little bits of light. Well, that reflection is sure nice, isn't it? She was a slammer. Yeah, it's every one of my every one of my flights in the B Nam ends up that way. It floats forever and then you just then it just plops right down. I'm not seeing it. He sits down at uh at flight level three three five, so that'd be about seven thousand feet below us. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. You'd think I'd see uh, some nav lights or something, strobe lights blinking, but I don't see anything just yet. Ah, that I love that uh, that dark blue though, man. That's really something, isn't it? Wow, that's pretty. Oh, right behind. All right, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I guess I do see now. Yep, there it is. Very cool. Yeah, I love... Uh, I love seeing the live traffic. So this this is a little bit of a livery issue from the uh, from the new update, as you can see. I think I think the wings are supposed to be. Intended to be dark all the way across, but that's all right. But every time they update the um, the aircraft, there's always it takes a little bit. You can see maybe even a little bit of a of an issue there. I'm not and I'm not sure. Somebody explained it on the forums. I'm not sure exactly why that happens, but uh, anyway. All right, let's. We need to. We need to do some uh, arrival planning here, and um, and approach planning. So, Paisley Four is what we're looking at here, and uh, does not 
appear to be any center controller so we'll we'll go ahead and get ourselves heading down here looks like we need to be above 230 at Grote and then between 2 and 12 at Paisley above 10 at uh, Carrop between 12 and 7 at Bodie then we're down here um, I have no idea what this would be Calib I don't know. Yeah. Above six there. <laughs> Jabin above uh, six as well. 250 on the speed when we get down there. And then we're going to be vectored down here to Zodak, which is 5,000 and 210. And then uh, either, either two right or two left. When we get down there a little closer. We will check and see if we still have any ATIS. We're a little too far away right now, but uh, all right. Let me let me see if we have all those in here. Again, no VNAV, but we can have some uh, we can have some things on here that helps us with our top ascent alert, top of descent alert, and vertical track alerts and things like that. So, all right, there is. Uh, Grote, yep, and that was uh, below 230. I think I might have said above 230 accidentally there. Uh, Paisley between 20 and 12, that looks good. Carup above 10. Bodie 12 and 7, those all look good. And then the big one here is, is uh, got to be down at 5 for Zodak. Yep, at 5. Then we get our vectors to our approach and we're holding off on the approach just actually you know what we'll do is this uh, let's go ahead and we'll put in the approach here ILS to right is what my my local sources tell me so ILS to right let's go to Nashville ILS to right we will be, looks like, using uh, maybe the Atkins transition. Is that, uh, let's see if that's an option here. Yes, indeed, Atkins transition. So we can uh, we can load that approach in. We don't want to activate it quite yet, but we'll have all that set. And that is 5,000. Yep, at Atkins and down to 4,000 at Loudoun, 3,000 and so on. And uh, let's just step through that just to make sure that looks good. Um, yep, 4, 3, 25 at Skaggs. And Skaggs is where we pick up the glide slope. That's 7.3 out. All right, I love it. I think that looks good. Now, if we uh, only have ATC and if we're only able to talk to them, that's going to be the other thing that's important. Oh, I have a Nashville ATIS now. We're getting close enough. Very good, very good. Here's what it's telling me. Chet Adkins and Ricky Skaggs. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I, uh, I forgot some of those classic uh, country artists for sure. All right, information, Mike. Winds are 010. Oops, I'm overspeeding a little bit here. Pull back on the, on the uh, turbine just a bit. Um... 0108, 10 statute miles for you at 3,500, minus 8 on the temp, minus 17 dew point, altimeter 3061, oh, high, high altimeter setting there. Um, simultaneous visual approaches, 2 left, 2 right, 2 center departing, okay, and uh, yeah, sounds good. We're gonna we're gonna have two right as our 
preferred runaway. And, all right, approach. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pick these guys up here. It's 119.35. We might be a little far away yet. But I'm just curious as to whether or not we're going to listen to them. Now, everything here, good and good. If that doesn't work... Or I'm not I'm not too proud to come out in here to com two and turn that guy on and and uh, use it as our as our main uh, main uh, radio. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Da -da 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 -da. Mike, that's me. Negative two eighteen one point four. That's good. That's not too bad at all. Let's. Uh, Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna confirm this here. Our friend, our friend, uh, Half Geek Central does it have his? Does not have your stats yet. You're lucky. You're lucky. We'll come back, but that's pretty good landing on that that aircraft. Here you go, brother. Outside view, pretty as ever. Malcolm, what's going on? Heading down to Nashville and then to. Uh, into George Bush. No, I don't do that stuff, Matt. I I uh, I got a little obsessed <laughs> with that, and it um and it kind of started to affect my landings in a in a bad way so i stopped doing that I, i'll look at the stats when i'm done but but uh, yeah no predictions avgeek you're out of here all right all right thanks for for stopping by yeah come back later come back in an hour or so and get another ticket so matt what happened is i was so obsessed with trying to have a low buttery number that i ended up you know like i was really i was really floating the landings and uh like i was starting to change my approaches a little bit so that i could be super super soft and it just was like yeah by the you know after a while i just noticed like i'm halfway down the runway and i didn't care about center line so it was actually i think jpc that said uh, stop thinking about that man your main job is to Ah, oh, sweet. I think we've got Memphis or uh, Nashville. Anyway, he's like, your main job is to put the airplane down on the center line in the touchdown zone. Don't worry about the, you know, don't worry about the descent rate. Yep, that's and so I start. I I immediately took. I used to have the little the little counter that would come up, you know, and show what the feet per minute were and all that. I immediately deleted that and. Um, yeah, instantly my my landings became better, and uh, yeah, it was good. Then I stopped worrying about the, you know, I stopped worrying about the the number. I still look. The main thing I look for now, though, is I look at again center line, touchdown zone, and I look at the G forces because I don't want it. To, I want to keep it under two Gs, just because I feel like that's acceptable. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I, I guess that's just, just me. All right, so this will give me a top of descent marker, but I always like to do a little... Double check, yes. It's clear up here. We got a ways to go yet. It's saying just after Yoki. So I'm gonna say five thousand is what I want to get to. So I'm at forty thousand now. I got a text message here, sorry. 
while I'm trying to do pilot math. So I want to lose 35,000. And uh, if I do my divide by 3.5, that means that um, basically have to start that to send at about 100 miles before we get to Atkins. Don't text and fly, kids. That's right. <laughs> so 100 miles before I get to Atkins is what I'm looking for. So in other words, when I turn to final, so... Um, so let's see if we can figure out where that would be. This might be kind of tough to figure. There's 21. There's another 10. There's another 10. So 21, 31, 41, 51. Uh, this might be too hard to see using this. Let's go down to the. Let's go down to the 750 and use it. See if we can. All right, so gonna work our way back from Atkins. So looking for a hundred here. Whoops. Um, call that ten. There's twenty six, thirty three, thirty seven, forty seven, fifty seven, sixty seven, hundred and forty seven. Yeah, so it's it's pretty accurate if it's saying I need to start down after growth. So I think we will I think we'll go ahead and just use the uh we'll just use the mark that it's given us. No, it said uh, after Yoki, sorry, after Yoki. Before growth. Okay. That seems a little early. It does. It seems a bit early. Am I on the VAT sim? Uh, do I? Oh, you have me on the VAT sim map. Cool. Well, I'm going to, I guess the main thing is this. All I, what I really have to do is I have to be below 230 at Groat. So let's do the pilot math there. 17, 17,000. So that's going to be f roughly 50 miles before growth. So we'll, let's do that. That'll 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 double check our uh, our math. 50 miles before growth. So we'll just we've got that waypoint. We know the distance, and that'll be kind of our initial descent down to 230. And then from there, um, from there we will. Uh, We'll figure out what we have to do. I pulled back a little too much on my speed here, guys. Easy to do. I usually just try to keep my temp at about 800. That's usually pretty good in this plane. Oops, that's a little too much. The idea here is as we're heading down, we can check in with approach and then they'll, uh, if we're high or low or whatever, then they'll, they'll help us out. They'll help us out. Three degree descent is standard. Multiply by the number of feet you need to lose. Yeah, I always go 3.5 because I always end up, I always end up a little bit short when I do three. Then multiply your ground speed by five to get your descent rate to stay on a three degree descent. That's way too much math, Shusi. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I was I always just go a little bit more conservative. And because I'd rather be down a little too soon than not soon enough. I've had too many times where I've just been too high. And then the either I or the controller is trying to figure out how do I bleed off that extra eight thousand feet. But I will do the ground speed by five. So I was doing about 400 feet a minute. There are 400 feet, 400 knots. 
uh, last time I checked and I'm about 340 so let's say let's say 350 times 5 that gives me 1750 so if I can be descending between 1500 and 2000 feet a minute that'll be that'll be uh, muy bueno I'm a little bit bummed that my that this thing's not working. I mean, it didn't really do anything before, but at least you could turn it on. It would give you like terrain radar, which is not bad in uh, this neck of the woods, especially coming in with the uh, with it getting dark like it is. And this is a beautiful old school light deck. Man, I love it. And somehow, I think that GTN 750 actually doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, even though there's all these steam gauges. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love an option to be totally steam gauge. I would love that. And I know that you can do that with the with the Garmin 530 unit essentially you can like like what Slant Alpha does, right? Like you don't you just turn off and don't use any any of the GPS stuff. But what I wouldn't give for just a fully glass or a, a steam gauge, nothing but round dials, man. Like a like a Lear 25. But if I can't have that, if I know I'm going to have some GPS, then without a doubt, this is my favorite, my favorite unit. TDS has done such a good job with it. I really hope I didn't hear what I just thought I heard, which is uh, Nashville. Yeah, darn it. Nashville went bye-bye. Well, they were on for a long time. Can't believe we're not getting some some stats here so we can judge although he he gave himself up <laughs> all right well anyway so we're we're down here and then um then we'll be off uh as soon as we can second half of the trip is down to uh, george bush intercontinental in houston and that will conclude Flight number 22 of the Bravo Tour. 22 of, what do we say, 30, like 38, I think. So we're on the downhill slide. And we did uh, roll the, or spin the wheel of names to pick our next airports, by the way. So we will be looking at Memphis and we'll be looking at Pittsburgh as our next two. And possibly from Houston to Memphis to Pittsburgh could potentially be a two leg trip so um yeah i will uh i will keep you in the loop on that and we have potentially another aircraft option and i'll share that on the second leg here Actually, there's two potential additions to our aircraft fleet that I will share with you when we get on the ground.
I'm going to see if I can monitor. I'm still a little bit curious about... why we had more than one frequency being broadcast at one time. So let's monitor Atlanta, which should definitely be on, and we should be uh, well within the range of that. Okay, there we go. Now that's working perfectly. Okay. So we're communicating on 2280. We're monitoring only Atlanta. That's cool. That's working good. I, I must have done something weird coming uh, coming out of LaGuardia. All right. Let's just enjoy <laughs> some awesome ATC and a beautiful sunset. Gonna fly your ILS approach on VATSIM. Nice, nice. Yeah, Matt, we lost we lost Nashville. You're stuck with just me. Sorry. We all know you're watching the playoff game anyway.
man. This Green Bay San Francisco game. Holy moly. So your home airport is KMQY. Very cool. Totally agree, Cheesy. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, spin it all the way down to five now. Hey, Nixie, it's actually gone really well once we got going. Still working through a few. Um, still working through a few issues with the audio, but... We're doing okay. Cheesy poof, probably not. I mean, I've done it a little bit here and there for a while, but not not really like that sim. Like for, I mean, it's been probably only about the last six or seven years ish. I kind of feel like that's my like the modern era of my flight simming. I mean, we all had those little. We all had the flight sim games early on that you flew offline, or there was no online flying, right? We all had those, but yeah, probably the last six or seven years. What's on the uh, what's on the grocery list for for you? What's on the Nick's household grocery list for the week? Just about to our to our uh, top of descent. One cool thing about this time of year, definitely don't like the super cold weather, but I love the uh, like it's crockpot season, right? <laughs> love that. You start back in MSFS four, nice. Yeah, I don't I don't remember. I remember if there was a a sim that we had when I was in high school, like in the uh kind of the mid to late eighties, it was like it had a had some kind of a fighter plane that we messed around with. It was fun. It was so crude. I mean and then I had one of them that uh
I remember flying out of Midway. I don't remember which one that was, but yeah. All right, well, top of descent. Getting pretty close. It'll give us a little vertical vertical path oral warning when it's time. Red milk, cereal, fruit, veggies, that a boy. Everything everything a growing boy needs. Just to, oh, you're just uh you're just topping off. You're just filling the gaps. I see, I got you. Yeah, we do the uh vertical our, There it is. All right, so it's time to head down, boys. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Let's go. Uh, let's go indicated, and let's pull back on the. That way, you don't overspeed. We want about 1750 if we can hit it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of power until we get back up. I'm just doing nothing but looking at this meter right now, just trying to gently add power. Until we're about 1750. And then I'm going to click vertical speed. That's close enough. And so that'll hold vertical speed. And it'll be a good power setting to keep us under the barber pole. And I'm going to go alt select. And if our math is, uh, is close. Then we should be... Around five thousand when it's time to uh, time to turn final. Can't I put it on auto throttle? Yep, there is no auto throttle in this plane. This is a this is a Learjet thirty five, and they didn't have that back then. So you're looking at him. <laughs> Call me auto. Part of what makes this uh, part of what makes this plane so much fun. This is Kevin TDS GTN 750. Beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of equipment here. Anyway, Nixie, I was I was about to say our local grocery store here uh, allows you to call ahead and put an order in, and then you can pick it up. That's we've been doing that now since uh, COVID. Man, it's like wow, it's such a time saver. Yeah, but uh, yeah, ain't cheap living alone in North Mississippi. You know, I have done that in the past, Kevin, but I'll be honest with you. I always forget about it. <laughs> Let's, uh, we should have done that. We should have done that. Um, it's VNAV planning right here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we should have done that. Dang it. I always forget that. Shoot, 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 shoot. Matt's, no, you do not have to. Uh, if, uh, just, just make sure that I can... Uh, get a hold of you if you win so like um i think i can just mess whisper message you here on on uh twitch or if you uh if you join my discord the link is right above i can i can message you there too but no maddie if you've got to go i understand totally understand all right um So I am, I only need 16 and I'm 
descending at 18 right now, so I I think that's pretty close. I always forget about the, that, Kevin. There's so much, so much that's simulated in this uh, in this unit. It's just crazy. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's nudge it up though. There we go. Get it closer to 16. And that'll put us at close to 2000, uh, 23 for that first uh, that first altitude check, basically. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. And so the so the other thing here, Matt, since I turned this into a two-leg flight, is uh, as soon as I get on the ground here in Nashville, I'll reset the drawing and give you a chance to get another ticket so you can kind of double your chances. Boy, I love listening to Atlanta's ATC, man. They just, on a busy night, and it's not even an event night. All right, use the change maps field in the map menu to change the upper right number. Okay, hang on. Let me get down here and do this. All right, so use the, so let's go to the menu. Go to the map menu. And uh, use the change maps field. Okay. And then change the number to time to TOD. I think I screwed that up. Menu, map setup. I'm missing something here, Kevin. Sorry. Menu. Okay. All right. So change user field. Okay. And what you're saying is click. Oh, you want this to be top of descent. All right. Um, is that one of these here? Time to top of descent right there. Ah, and then that's oh, oh, is that what I want? Is bottom of descent or top of descent? TOD. Now that you're descending, change to, to VSR. VSR. Vertical speed required. Ah. Whoa, that's cool, dude. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... So I'm going to pitch up a little bit and try to get that to raise. Boom. Nope, that's still 16. I don't want that. Let's pitch up. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> and it's going to be a it's going to be an inexact science, isn't it here, guys? There we go. That's close enough. <laughs> uh 10.99s for twitches are ready, by the way. What? Nice. Is that the tax stuff? All right. All right. Well, I tell you what, I'll take that. I will take that. That's going to so that'll put me below 230 when I'm supposed to. Love it. Kevin aka them's my shoes. You once again continue to amaze me with your knowledge of aircraft thank you very much oh and i didn't even have my uh i was giving you one of these man thank you thank you thank you atlanta <laughs> what's the yellow number above the compass all right um 
talking about, whoops. Above the compass. Above the compass. This number here. This number here. This is the this is the uh, countdown to probably to this, right? To my next waypoint, be my guess. Yeah, one mile to uh, to Groat. And are we below two? Uh, uh, I must have got a little a little bit. Hmm. So I should be below 230, and I'm not. All right, so that's not quite working, but that's okay. So the next, the next, air, um, next altitude is between 20 and 12, and I need to be at 1350, which is about where I'm at. So that's good. My airspeed, by the way, is uh, still pretty good. And so I'm just leave it right there. Downwind Sim, how the heck are you, man? We need to talk a little bit about uh, about Bush League backcountry, don't we? <laughs> Since it's already the twentieth of the of the month, I I've got an idea to run by you, but I didn't know if you had thought about something yet either. We can message back and forth on uh, on the cord. So tonight is Scooby Dooby Duke. By the way, if you're looking for an event, it starts here in about an hour and a half. It's out on the west coast. And it looks like it's uh Ontario and uh, I don't know what SNA is. San that's John Wayne, right? Yeah, John Wayne. So that'd be kind of a cool one. That'd be a good one to fly the biz jet in the, the Learjet, wouldn't it? Yeah, cool. Seems like the months fly by, absolutely. Mike, here you go, my friend. I'll even be quiet for you. Clean sweep, even. Mets colors. Good call. I just something about a night flight, guys. Right? It's just pretty, pretty dang amazing. Pretty dang amazing. All right. Oh man, I'm getting, I'm getting fast here. Let's uh, pull back slightly on the. 
on this turbine here. I'm not, I guess I'm not too bad. Like, now nah, the barber pole's clear up there, so we're doing all right. We're doing all right. 53, yep, we're almost there. I wonder, it still makes me wonder if I would have made it when I, uh, oh, what's, why, why am I getting a blinky blinky? What's the matter? Low fuel, huh? Oh, okay, well. So the, one of the original problems of the stream when we first started was that it was about 68 miles farther than this plane is rated to fly. How do you check the Mach number? Um, so the Mach is the outside ring here, so I'm about Mach 0.6 right now. Inner ring is your speed in knots. And I was just curious as to whether or not if you just completely topped it off, if you'd be able to, to make it. I was, I've kind of read a couple different articles that said if you cruise at Mach 0.75 instead of Mach 0.8, speaking of Mach numbers, that you can really extend the range of this plane, this, this, this model of plane in particular. But um, anyway, we... We just we opted not to do that, and so <laughs> so that's uh, we're coming in, we're coming in hot, baby. Sixteen. So oops. So now I'm seeing not seeing. I probably should increase my descent rate just a little bit. Yeah. So let's uh, let's do that. We'll nudge it. We'll give it a little nose down nudge here. Nudge, nudge, and we'll resume the. I'm a little, yeah, not too bad, about, about 2,000 now. Again, as long as the speed stays under control, it's not, it's not a bad thing to be, you know, a, too, a little too early. All right, so here's what I got to do. Let's see. I didn't think about this, but tip tanks are, oh, so the tip tanks have already been exhausted yeah we are really low <laughs> we are really low okay yeah i hope we make it to nashville guys and i pretty much put the fuel right on where i was where simbrief said so and i didn't exactly fly it economically canna hey how's it going you're the one that asked about the mock number sorry i was uh brain dead welcome canna Thanks for coming in, buddy. Don't worry about running out of fuel. I know this car, honey. Well, we're descending, right? Like, we're going down, so what the heck, right? I could even just pull back a little bit on the old, the old engines and save a couple more gallons. I don't know. We'll see. Got to push the aircraft to its limits to know its limits. You might want to write that down. Um, I currently have four dogs, but wife says, hello, are you watching Melvin? <laughs> hello, Mrs. Stein. Yeah, so here's, there's kind of a story behind that, as there is with most things with me. So we had one, and then I bought two hunting dogs, which we've had three in the past, and that's kind of been our max. Um, but then, um, unfortunately, my my wife's mother passed away, and so we inherited her dog also. And that all the my two my two pups and her her dog coming into our house all happened in the same year. So we went from one dog to four. <laughs> and uh yeah so that's us now and we may potentially be having two cats 
join us as well because uh, it's a chance for uh, it's it's possible that my son might be uh, might be also moving in with us temporarily as he finishes college and they have two cats so anyway yeah <laughs> man so I'm I'm getting down there I'm doing good I'm doing really good I'm going to I'm going to bring the nose up a little bit and get my speed down cuz I'm over speeding. I want to be 250. Nashville traffic November 11816 out of uh, 8600 we are about uh, 50 to the northeast of the field inbound runway 2 right Nashville. <laughs> Sammy How's it going, Sammy TJ87? First time chatter. Welcome. Happy Saturday or Sunday, as the case may be. Thanks for coming in. We are Learjetting our way ultimately down to Houston, but we're taking a little a little fuel stop here in Nashville. So nice to see you. Welcome. We've got unfortunately uh, nobody to help us here, so this is going to be interesting. You realize you keep, we keep telling the same stories over and over. I know we're old men and we only have so many stories. I need a localizer frequency of 11175. And that is uh, ready here as soon as it's time to go. And then I need a uh, course of 21. You can set that guy. All right. What about 152s, Matt? I've been called the cat lady of 150s before. I'm about to become the cat lady of another aircraft, though, and Dalwin Sim's going to make fun of me for it. So I'm holding off to tell you what other aircraft is in the fold until our second leg here. My father-in-law tells the same stories over and over again. Being a smart son-in-law, I always listen. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, we're turning. Um, so it wasn't quite as far northeast of the field as I thought. Got out cell. We're going to stop at 5. And that's when we'll activate our approach. Nashville traffic, November 11816 is uh, not turning southbound. We'll be uh, passing east of the field, 6,300 inbound runway to right, Nashville. All right. So I most likely would benefit from an updated heading bug here because I think we're kind of on a vector now. So I could come off of nav mode. There's a 1,000 to go. And I could get into localizer mode and kind of get ready for this approach. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go heading mode here. We're on our way down to 5,000, but we're going to go to our procedures. And it's time to activate vectors to final. Sweet. We're going to change that guy over 1175 is in we're going to go ahead and go to uh v lock and we didn't do a very good job of getting our speed underneath us did we okay i'm going to be looking at uh 130 for Actually, hold that here. Sorry, um, I need my uh, I need my weight here. I need my weight. What is my weight? Currently eleven three. Okay, so eleven three. We've got 
An approach speed of 16 and a ref of 10. Okay, so let's adjust this. B ref will be 110. Approach will be one, what did I say, 116. Beautiful. Okay, now we've leveled off. Here comes our speed coming on down. I'm going to let it go all the way down to the flaps range, which is uh, for us 198. Your town's off the left wing. Hello, town. Very cool. Very cool. And we can take this out. We got a ways here to go. So we got we have plenty of time to get our speed sort of under control. And uh, again, I'm just going to pull back a little out of time, get down below 200 where we can start to put some flaps in. <laughs> Inspiring words. <laughs> All right. Nashville on one side, Cheesy Poofs on the other, Cheesy Poof City on the other. Comes a raid, uh-oh, uh-oh. Itchy legs, yeah, my sock was bugging me. I'm ready. Bring on the raid. I can, I can show off my mediocre landing skills. <laughs> I hope we have enough fuel. <laughs> we are we are low. How low can you go? Yep, we are low. We are low. Alright, Atkins, I think that's when I wanted to turn. I probably should have since I'm so low on fuel, I probably should have flown the visual, but you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. That would have way, made way too much sense. Nashville traffic, November 11816, is turning inbound runway to right. Hello, good fixins. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Brett Leon Meister the second. Well, it is easier, but like if I shoot the visual, I could have been down about uh, 20 gallons ago. Oh my goodness. Allison Johnson. Holy moly. Wow. Thanks for the raid, Allie. Nice to see you. I didn't have a chance to come and uh, and hang out with you today like I normally do on a Saturday, but uh, but welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Dougal McTavish, Super Typhoon, Hummingbird, Muse Fan, Goblin Zeus, uh, Celestial Navigator, and Wrecked Ginger. Hey, yeah, thank you for that. I pray that same thing, Wrecked Ginger. All right. Well, hey, very cool. I am so uh, happy that you came in. I'm going to be trying to land this Learjet in Nashville. And uh, so far, the flight's been okay. I think I'm just going to hand fly it. Guys, what do you guys think? Let's just hand fly it. Such a fun plane to hand fly, right? Let's just hand fly this bad boy. Ooh, you know one thing I forgot to do last time is I forgot to disengage the uh, yaw damper. Okay. So I just blew through the localizer. So uh, <laughs> Raiders from the Allison Johnson channel, how do you like things so far? <laughs> um, Nashville traffic. November 11816 is uh, turning inbound runway 2 right, Nashville. 
And I don't appear to have any kind of a glide slope just yet. So there's that. Let me get rid of you for just a second, guys. We need to put the landing lights on. Uh, we need to get everybody's seat belt back on. We need to get the recogs on here. All right. Oh, hey, you're wandering around. Forgive me for just a second, Allison Johnson Raiders. I'm going to try to get this thing on the ground. Hey, there's my glide slope. All right, good deal. Now let's see if we can get the speed down, get some flaps out. It's a left-hand turn. We'll have to find an FBO or someplace that has fuel. We are planning on uh, continuing down to Houston after this. And I think there's flap speed for eight coming in. Ten miles, it looks like we got here. For everybody coming in from the Allison Johnson Raid, nice to meet you. My name is Brant. Welcome to the Melvin Leroy channel. We do a variety of flight sim related shenanigans here. And our current obsession is the Learjet 35 from Fly Simware. We're looking for an approach speed of 116. 119. Uh, sorry, a, a ref speed of 116. So we'll try to be about 125 ish probably for the approach. Whoa. Another notch of flaps coming in. I did not set local altimeter. Shoot. 3060, I remember. Remarking at how high the altimeter was. Let's get that set. There it is. Okay. Nashville traffic. November 11816, 7 mile final to right Nashville. Maybe just a little bit slow and a little below the glide slope. Only two dots below the glide slope. <clears throat> That's pretty good for us. And I'm going to turn the uh, light director off because I'm. it's wanting me to go places that I don't want to go. All right, let's level. We'll get the speed where it wants to be, and we'll try to get back on that glide slope. Okay, speed's getting a little closer now. Glide slope slowly wandering down here. We're not 100% sure we're talking on Utica because we've had some weird things happen with our with our TDS today, but uh, just in relation to Unicom. Ooh, there was a gust. Seeing some white on the pappy, so that's good, right? There we go. Alright, I like that. That's a little bit better profile. I'm still slipping down below it, though. Hmm. Just can't quite hold it for some reason. Before landing checks, thrust reversers armed. Whoop, whoop, pull up. Three, three. <laughs> Auto ignitions or air ignitions are on. Lights are on. Gear down and green. Getting bounced around just a little bit here, guys, but we're, we're in the ballpark.
We're just hoping we have enough fuel to taxi to the FBO because that red light there is the low fuel light and it's been on for about the last 20 minutes. No, we got this. <laughs> Rob, hello. All right, down we go. Pretty much on the center line, actually. That wasn't half bad. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good job. Manual braking. And we're not going to quite make that turn off, but that's okay. I will take that. That, was, that wasn't too bad for us. I think it's the inspiration of having Allison Johnson's crew in here with us that helped help me focus on that one. All right. Uh, looks like we've got a high speed here we can take. No, seriously though, Allie, great to great to have your chat in here. Um, if you've lived under a rock for the past three years and don't know Allison Johnson. You need to go follow her. She has got some of the most incredible flight sim related content on Twitch. She does all kinds of historical flights and just absolutely uh, amazing stuff. And it, anyway, go check her out. I can't, I will not be able to do her justice, but go check her out. Give her a follow. She uh, will be most likely streaming again tomorrow morning too she i know she does some weekend work and and uh so anyway you'll enjoy all right i gotta figure out where the heck i'm going uh, looks like i should be going nashville traffic legit date 16 is clear of to right nashville and uh nashville unicom could i get a radio check i don't I, something's not working right there Yep, on to the second leg. Let me uh, reset the um, let me reset the giveaway here, though, guys. Let me get to the uh, FBO and we'll reset. Um, I gotta turn. Oh no, I missed my turn. I have to turn to get to the FBO. I have to go back there. I may have to do a little. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna. <laughs> We're going to do this. The FBO is right there. Shh. Nobody saw nothing. Nobody saw nothing. Don't tell anyone. Oh, this is a runway. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I've got a number for you to call. I've got a number for you to call. All right. No harm, no foul. <laughs> hmm. Okay. This isn't Rickfest. <laughs> I will catch up with the chat in one second, you guys. Let me get to the FBO and, and, uh, I, I'll have to visit with the air marshal for just probably a second or two, but then we'll be on on our way. This is a hard FBO to get to. I just want to go. I don't know. That looked like a fancier place to go. You know what? All I need is a place to to turn around. Let's be honest. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, I am I'm all over the place. Where is this? I'm literally using the moving map here to try to get my get myself where I'm supposed to be. There we go. Man, this All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. No. We're going the wrong freaking way. How do I get right there? Is there a is there a way over there to get to where I'm going? I don't even know. Because this is taking me back out to the uh, to the runway. There it is. Taxiway. Taxiway uh, Alpha Alpha. <laughs> See what I did there? All right, this is gonna work. This is actually a little freeware 
that I found and it's it's pretty nice honestly it's got some uh, custom buildings and stuff it's pretty cool but but I don't think the I don't think the uh, taxiway things lined up yeah like like I should have had something here I didn't I should have had something back here I didn't I don't know all right let's get this set we need fuel and we need to uh, plot our course here for the second leg. And I also need to can't get can't get there from here, Yankee. <laughs> you yank. All right, let me stop. Let me let me slow down here. Let me slow down here. <laughs> I'm not ready to take a number. I'm flying. I'm taxiing. I'm not ready. Okay, I want to make sure I've got everybody here that that came in on the uh, on the raid. And again, thank you so very much, Allison. I know you've probably been in for hours and are tired and need to go eat and all that stuff so i don't even know if you're still not here that i totally understand that um hardest working simmer in flight sim i swear she she hops on and a, a usual a usual stream for her is eight hours i mean that's a usual stream for her so anyway um all right here we go here we go so celestial navigator i'm not called melvin well so yes i am so the channel name is Melvin Leroy. That that's actually my grandfather's name. He's the one that got me into uh it, you know the interest of aviation. And so I've named the channel after him. My name is Brant, but everybody calls me Uncle Melvin. So anyway, you can call me whatever, but uh that's that's the story behind that. That's the story behind that just in case you wondered. Um so the uh let's see who else here who else here? Kenny Chesney always flew into Signature Cheesy Poof. I've got some local course knowledge here, which has been kind of fun. Please put on your helmets and prepare for landing good fixes. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's see. And then uh, good fixins. Try the luck command. No soap, my friend. I know you're uh, all counting on me and all that good stuff. But uh, anyway. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Oh, Shoesy kind of answered that question. Yep. Yep, uh, teacher and a coach. Uh, yeah, close in Wyoming. In Wyoming, not not Miami, but Wyoming. Um, I don't think I'd survive Miami. That's too hot for me. But uh, let's see. Anybody else come in here? Rock Valkyrie. Did Queen of Disguise not work for you, Rob? I did hear going around, but I didn't hear Queen of Disguise. Um, anyway, but uh, so yeah, it's kind of a grandpa themed channel. My grandpa, obviously, the one got me going, and then the, the the sound effects, a lot of them that you hear are my grandson. So anyway, did I see Allie's buttery landing at Kitek? No, I did not. I am going to have to go back and watch that one. Very cool, very cool. Uh, imagine shutting down two center. Yeah, so maybe I, maybe I, maybe I went across there. When It's hard to tell. It's It's dark. I mean, you know, no one was really there and to see it, so I don't know. But uh, anyway, so yeah. Um, Allison does need more Simmers aware of her. Yeah, for sure. And and also, what I would like to say about Allison is um, a fantastic streamer, but a, a, an even nicer lady. I met her at uh, Flight Sim Expo, and like, so she's got this massive following, right? Like, like she's known and people know her and she, and she took time to talk to me a little peon nobody from the middle of wyoming um one evening at at one of our dinners and just the nicest lady and anyway so um a, a just a just a genuinely great person so anyway definitely worth a a uh <laughs> a look see and a follow and anyway lawnmower 3000 yeah welcome to four-wheeling simulation <laughs> that's right uh surly dev i'm not really taking number on that we already read that. that was a good one that was a good one outside view please all right you did buy it you're right mats here's where we are man and uh yeah we could uh like we could even take a well let's just let's do this we got we have a, a little bit of a of a trek yet so um yeah so taxiway melvin that's right that's right about to head out 10 hours today okay so that was allison already from a little bit ago and again yes yeah, like i was mentioning she goes like she does these historical flights and uh will she's tracing i'm trying to remember which famous aviatrix she's tracing she kind of that's like her theme is she'll do you know um amelia Earhart routes or 
um, you know, like, like the different, the different females in aviation that have pioneered, uh, you know, and, and done famous routes. And I don't remember which one she's, she's, she's doing right now, but, uh, anyway, she'll do like halfway across Africa as one leg and it'll be 10 hours in a, you know, in a Lockheed or something. So, um, definitely, definitely. Can you post a link? Oh, absolutely. Surely post a link, post away and uh yeah we haven't started second round yet nope give me a second here there it is there's the there's the uh link all right last call for the if you want a a ticket to the uh 25 gift card giveaway that'll be at the end of next uh the next leg please grab your ticket right now i'm about to um I'm about to clear things out and restart the uh, drawing so let's see here C M Stein Iowa Scotsman Sim Mr. Egan and you don't have to be here by the way to uh if you win I'll come find you as long as I have a way to, to contact you. So if you can't hang out for the whole time, I understand. I just appreciate you being here and uh like I said before, it's fun to give back what you guys have so generously given to uh to the channel so all right downwind sim the uh, geek central i'm just typing in my uh i'm just typing in all my ones here there's the longer version very cool very cool love it love it love it uh, there's drill bar there is there's somebody coming in uh, texas one flyboy hey hey make sure you get a ticket uh tfb and surly dev all right i am uh can i'm flying from here down to uh george bush intercontinental all right so that is uh done there 25 dollar gift card so here's round two so go ahead, go ahead. Is Melvin Leroy a person or an AI? That is my grandfather. That's his name, Melvin Leroy. So he is, uh, yeah, he's my grandpa. He's my grandpa. JPC, you're in. TFB, you're in. All right. Who won? No, uh, it's, uh, we're doing, we're just doing the whole thing at the end of the this leg. So you, you're you just basically getting another ticket to put in right now, Maddie. Drobart, you're in. Mike Stein, you're in. So yeah, um, let's do uh, let's do some planning here, shall we? And then we'll get going. We've got another probably another hour and a half or so, maybe even a little bit longer. So we got to get the ball rolling. Um, let's go back into sim briefly. Use the current time, and that's fine. November one one eight one six. That's me. K B and A, K I H, Learjet thirty five. Generate this flight. Units are in pounds. 220. Yeah, so we got a little while to go yet here. Block time of, uh, what does it say, 220? All right, so then we're going to copy the route here. Here's some of the different things I like to do with mine. I like to go right over here to Navigraph Charts and paste that guy in. And uh, then... I got a rough idea. All right, perfect. Let's pre-file this guy. Let's get uh, going here. Okay, Lear, medium, Nashville, 400. Just in case, like I, I, we had some ATC down Texas way. So I, I want to make sure I get all that in there just in case. All right, cool. Very good, very good, very good. Um, have you have your Mustang uh, Gitas to count over here? A hundred so far. Estimated flight time. I'm saying it looks like uh, it looks like they're telling me here it's every bit of two hours. Um, yep, right at two hours for this leg. So. Yeah, if you can hang, great. Like I said, if you can't, I totally understand. 
And uh, you do not need to be present to win. All right. I do, though, like I say, appreciate you being here. It's definitely not the most optimum thing to do a five-hour flight with no ATC. <laughs> so having you guys to visit with definitely helps out. Okay, we are... We are... Um, Fueled. I'm going to go back to the top of my checklist here and see if we can't get this thing ready to rock and roll. So uh, we're fueled. We've got the engines going. We need to let's check our trim here and see how we do. Yep, our trim is pretty darn close to where it needs to be. We can have the yaw damper power on. We don't need to engage it just yet. We're going to go ahead and set flaps eight right now. And. Mm, you know what? I should have uh, went to just taxi lights there. And we don't need recog or strobies. Sorry, ramp workers. That was not good on my part. This can be turned off for now as well. And... guy probably shouldn't have had his pedo heat on the entire time either. Okay. We are out of here on the Daniels 3 departure. I need to do a little brief of that and then also a a uh, taxi brief here runway two center is the one that we're going to be using so let's take a peek top altitude's 4000 we're going to climb on a 021 heading and then we expect radar vectors to big daddy and then out here to daniels so yeah depart northbound make a left hand turn big daddy and we're out of here Sweet. All right. How about the taxi chart or the taxi uh, brief to center? We're going to try to find our way out of here somehow. We, we feel like we should have something here or here, but we didn't really have that. So we're going to make our way to what we hope is Kilo. And then we're going to turn on uh, Tango 4 and go all the way down here to Sierra and uh, down here to the end of two center that should be good or we could maybe yeah that'll be that'll be fine all right um how how would i know if anti-ice should be on so a couple different things but uh there's always a little weather report and in the, we don't have the atis so one way that i do check is if we would happen to have an atis it would mention that in there so that's that's a kind of a, a quick and dirty way of doing it. Then the other way to do it is this. I like to just actually use SimBrief. And so what I'll do is I'll put in KBNA to uh, George Bush. I'll go ahead and paste my route in. And then what I do is I have the layers turned on. If you click on the layers tab, you can have the weather. The icing air met is a big one. And then the weather radar. And so that is what I'm looking at. So if you notice... There's parts of the of the country that are in blue. Those are the ones that have the uh, the icing forecast. It looks like we are in great shape here, and nothing but green dots, which is another uh, another good sign. That means all these are are visual uh, conditions right now. So anyway, that's kind of what you look for. Obviously, you also look to see if you're below zero, and if there's clouds in the sky, visible moisture, and if you have either of those two things, then you've got to be ready to go. You know, it's winter time, right? So you have to kind of always be ready for that. The other thing you can do is you can use a, a, another good resource is windy.com, which gives you a little bit more of a, like a detailed uh, weather forecast. There's actually, that's, that's really a, um, I'll be honest with you, that's really an area that I could be a lot more, uh, a lot better at because I just kind of do the quick and dirty and, and doing a proper weather briefing, it's it's uh, like it's really important, and and it's I don't really do it justice. Okay, so here, so here's okay. I think maybe this is again these these taxi lights are just right in the middle of everything. They make it really difficult to see where you're supposed to be going. There's some streamers that do a really good job. Of doing uh, like a proper weather briefing 
and uh, it's kind of fun to watch it can get it, it can get incredibly detailed you know and they'll like if they're if they're real world pilots and they're planning these flights like they'll start their their weather preparation uh, a week ahead of time i mean they'll they'll be they'll have forecasts seven days out and then they'll check it five days out and then they'll check it two days out and that type of thing it's really really interesting but I I don't know my uh, I don't know my meteorolog meteorologically I don't know my weather well enough to do that. All right, this is Tango. Sorry, Sierra. Sierra. What did I say? Tango four. I'm gonna take this down here. It'll eventually merge with yeah. This is Tango four. It eventually merges with Sierra. There comes some inbound traffic. Still not 100% sure that I am talking on Unicom. So I think what I might do is this. I might come down here. And I might try to go 2280. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that while I'm taxiing because I'll get, we'll end up in the weeds. But I might turn my nav 2 on and just see if I can hear people better. For some reason, Unicom is not. I don't feel like it's worked correctly today. My pl my flights get planned 15 minutes ahead of time. Yeah, that's kind of what I do too. I've got a rough idea of what I'd like to do, but um, yeah, I don't have the luxury of uh, of planning that far out in advance. Okay, down we go. It'll be a slight right turn here at the end. And we're taxiing at idle. This thing is a notoriously fast taxier, both in the sim and in real life, from what I've read. Kind of hard to stay ahead of sometimes in the taxi. I'm going to blame me taxiing over the grass on the fact that it just taxied so fast. I just had a hard time. All depends on on on, on online ATC. Yeah, um, AvGeek. I'm in that same boat too, and I try. That's that's partially why I don't do this series um, maybe as regularly as I would like is just because I, I want to try to set it up to where there's there's some ATC. But I'm with you on that. Like on most of my other streams, one of the big one of the big considerations of where I'm flying, which then leads to what I'm flying is uh, where will I find some ATC? I love that. It's a rocket on rails. That's right. Hang on tight. That's you just uh you're along for the ride in so many regards. Okay, I'm gonna get down here and then again I'm gonna I'm gonna set my COM two to 2280. Ooh, I need to update my route here as well. That's still showing all the way from LaGuardia down to uh George Bush. I said I was gonna do that before and I didn't. Okay, one thing at a time. So we're going to come down here. Let's go 2280 on the comms. Find the click spot here. Okay. Um, we are going there. Nashville traffic, November 11816, holding short to center. Gerobart says, ice forms on the underwings. I'll take your word for that. You know what you're talking about on that deal. Um, okay, let me go back up here. I need to update my route. Okay, that's now updated. And, all right. And Nashville uh, Unicom. Can I get a radio check, please? Yeah, 
cap. See something? It's just not working. It's just not working. So this is tuned to 2280. Both of these are tuned to 2280. I'm transmitting when I push the button. Hmm. Yep, just got some more audio issues to, to sort through here. So that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, it is because I, uh, I have this. I was trying COM2 as my primary... Um, primary frequency here I tried both uh, Nashville uh, Unicom radio check yep I'm not hearing anything on uh, on Unicom all right well we're gonna do the best we can here Nashville uh, traffic November 11806 is departing to center and we'll be making a left hand turnout uh, to the southeast or excuse me, to the southwest, Nashville. All right. Um, let's do, we need, we need 89, almost the same. I'm just going to leave it there. And then our uh, ref speeds here, 30 and 32. So basically the same takeoff settings as LaGuardia all right I think we're ready Eddie here we go One last check here. Clear on final. Runway looks clear. Ooh. I see something I need to do here real quickly. Top altitude is... I gotta, I gotta confirm it's... I don't think it's 4,000. I think it's... Yep, it is 4,000. Alright. So we're out of here. Runway heading. Let's go ahead and... Uh, update that here and then we'll be we'll be rolling see if we can do it correctly this time we want to pitch to 250 and that needs to be our continuous climb speed up we go looking for 89.5 Oops, a little too far. I'm about 93 right now. There's V1 and rotate. Yeah, I went a little too far on the uh, turbine speed. Positive right here comes the gear. Flaps. Okay. Watching my uh, watching my speed come up. Here's two zero zero. Get a little bit of a view on the outside here. Lovely, very nice Nashville. Thank you again, guys, for the hospitality. Kevin, thanks for the the uh, barbecue sandwich. Okay, heading is armed. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ooh, we got. Uh, thousand to go let's go alt select let's go vertical speed we'll engage that it's going to capture that altitude for us i would assume we probably would get higher fairly quickly but i don't know that for sure i'm going to spin it and when we get to 250 i'm going to go speed mode as indicated we're going to go alt select again and I'm going to give me like an initial here of about 230. And then I'm going to start turning on course. Let's do that. We'll get radar vectors to. It was uh, 
But oh, geez, Louise. Guess what I forgot to do, guys? <laughs> I forgot to put in. I forgot to put in our flight plan. Holy cow. All right, let's get a general turn to the west. <laughs> uh, I knew I forgot something. Forgot the pickle spear that came with it. Um, dang it. And uh, and the homemade chips too. I love those homemade chips. All right, well that's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just act like we know what we're doing. Nashville traffic clear one one eight one six is departing the area through seven thousand four hundred westbound Nashville. Yeah, rascals. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. So I've been able to hear Atlanta Center. I just haven't been able to. Uh, I haven't been able to communicate on Unicom. EasyJet, hey, first time chat. You are flying from Madrid to Gibraltar in the A320 in the EasyJet. A3. Oh, that's an awesome flight. That is an awesome flight. Welcome. Great to see you. All right, I'm going to do the uh, flight plan of shame here, you guys. Holy cow, what a bad mistake. I didn't go far far enough back up to my uh, back up to my checklist here apparently. So let's get rid of that, okay? And luckily this is a pretty fast K B and A. Enter. We're going to K I A H. Enter. Our procedure. Again, holy moly, can't believe I did this. It's Daniels 4, or Daniels 3, sorry, Daniels 3. We went from 2 center. And we are going to the, yeah, speaker. That looks good. Load that departure. And we are expecting vectors to Big Daddy. So that's what we want to do here. Big Daddy. Enter. Activate. So now we can go to Nav. And we're pretty close, honestly. I mean, nobody nobody would know. Looks like it's going to take us out a little ways here, but nobody would know too much of the difference there. Okay, please, please. All right, why are we still turning, sir? Why are we still turning? Okay, maybe not. Let's go back to uh, heading mode here. Let's get the rest of our flight plan in. Um, Daniels, Daniels, and we go to Memphis. Uh, we need to insert before M-E-M, V-O-R, Memphis V-O-R, sweet. And then we go to, from Memphis, we jump on the airway. It's the uh, Juliet 66. We hop off at Little Rock. Lima, India, Tango. Load that. From Little Rock, we jump on the Juliet 180. We take that to SWB, which I don't know what that sawmill. Very cool. Load. Awesome. And then, all right. So let's, uh, then we're on the Skinnerd 4. All right. Load the procedure. Arrival. Skinnerd 4. There it is. Off of the sawmill. Perfect. And we are expecting runway 8 right. Okay, flight plan is in, and now we just need to figure out where we're going. Um, I, th I still think we want to go to uh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy, let's do it. Flight plan, Big Daddy, direct to activate. There it is. Nav. I don't know why it was trying to turn the other way, but, you know, so be it. So be it. And that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's. Uh, I'm going to try to tune back in some ATC, though, because it is more fun to listen to ATC. Yeah, we're definitely close enough to, to get Atlanta. Dang it, Memphis. I thought we had a chance, you guys. Watch, we'll do this whole uh, five-hour stream with no ATC. 32975. So if I come down here, see this worked perfect. That was that, and I could monitor that, and we could listen to Atlanta all night long. Oh, I know why. I know why. Uh, 
I need to go to GPS. It's just trying to turn randomly, and that's not good. Gosh darn it. It's trying to pick up the, uh, the localizer is what it's trying to do, guys. That's why it keeps messing up. Okay, one more try. Third time's the charm. Flight plan, Big Daddy, direct to activate. Oi, oi bay. I should not be allowed to uh, operate even a simulator. <sighs> the only thing unreal about the sim is you can you can't watch traffic or for traffic and uh, type in the data at the same time. Yes, like if you're solo pilot. Yeah, absolutely. Like you would not be doing what I just did, right? Or you would do it once and then you'd never fly again. Where were we? There we go. Yep, see you in Nashville. Maybe, if I can get on the uh, Big Daddy fix here. Are we, are we doing it this time? Yeah, I think we are. I think we are. We're through 18, so we can uh, reset the barrel here. How do I do that? It's a way to do that, right? 2992. Whoops, and I've let myself, uh, I've allowed myself to get a little fast here. So I'm going to go ahead and let's, let's use the uh, pitch trim to increase our rate here. Try to get up a little more aggressive. Vertical speed mode right there. And we'll just kind of watch this fall back here. Bless you. Okay. Looking good. Finally heading to Big Daddy. There's our speed at 250, so we'll go to speed mode here. And then again, let's uh, kind of push our turbine temps up to about 800 on the climb out. That should be just about right. That should get us where we want to go.
I wish the night lighting on the stream looked as good as it does in the sim. <laughs> Does the Learjet have some better mood lighting options? Um, I don't think it does, really. I think it's kind of what you got right here. Like, you could, you can turn the uh, flood down if you want, I guess. Honestly, I haven't messed too much with the... Uh, yeah, I haven't messed too much with it, honestly. But, you know, in real life, of course, you'd be... Like, this. all this stuff would be turned way down. Just to make it easier on your eyes, but, uh, yeah. It's kind of one of those deals that... Like, once it gets too dark, it's... It's, it's sort of tough to... Sort of tough to see on the on the stream. I am not hearing now. I'm not hearing. Um, even Atlanta. Did they go offline? Am I missing something here? Like I'm flying right by Atlanta. Atlanta Center, thirty-two ninety-five. I don't know. You get this? I am. Uh, oh, nine seven five. That's the problem. Nine seven five. Okay. One, three, two, nine, seven, five. That should be it. Hmm. All right. I'm interested to hear if there's anybody else that's experienced the strangeness of uh, the calm issues that we have as to whether it's a TDS issue or it's a Learjet. This is a brand new update, update 10 or 11 or something just as of uh, last night. Um, or it's uh, something related to my new Bluetooth Um Yeah, just be curious to see. Basically, it's almost like flying offline. Not sure if I answered this all, Mitty Smitty Pop. Are you flying the version release? Oh, yeah, we just talked about that. You think it's the best one up to date? No issues for VATSIM um, that you found. So it's got to be, it, there has to be a, has to be a relation to Netflix. By the way, the pizza's here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, dang it. I tell you what, I, I, again, I like the idea of, you know, being able to have some headroom and, and, you know, after a while when you wear those headphones, right, it just kind of hurts your head, your ears, and these are a little more comfortable, but I'm going to have to get the, I'm have to get the gremlins sorted out here if it's going to work for us. Well, I th I think so, because we've heard, and we've we've communicated back and forth with people today. But so right now I'm you know transmitting, receiving Unicom, and this is supposed to be Atlanta Center thirty two nine seven five, and I'm just monitoring that, and then my uh, audio here. The microphone is working. You can see blah blah blah. Test test test. And then this is my uh, use of my headphones. Maybe.
maybe I, my output volume was down to zero and I couldn't hear because of that. But I'm not even hearing, you know, like when a text message comes over and gives you that little kirk. I'm not even hearing that. So, it's a, it's a small thing to change headphones, but it has lots of domino effects, I'm finding. <laughs> uh. What I like about this version, Smitty Papa, is I'm not jettisoning fuel <laughs> the whole time like I was with the uh, 1.9 all right I may need to go up and get myself a slice of pizza here guys I'm gonna get to cruise first and then I'll probably do that Just about to the end of the departure here. Daniels represents the uh, exit point. And then we're, we should be at cruise for the rest of the time. Should have those turned off already. Air ignition's off as well. Pressurization is set. And we're just going to shoot for, again, like a Mach 0.78. Like right where I'm at right now, that'd be just, just perfect. There, eventually there will be a Mach hold... There just isn't one yet. So yeah, Smitty, I'm not sure what exactly is going on here because not only are we not listening to, we're not talking to anybody, we're not listening to anybody here as well. And I would be shocked if Atlanta was not busier than all heck right now. Looking at all my different things here. Be pilot. Battery low, uh-oh. If I lose my battery, I might be in real trouble. I don't know. This is supposed to have a 66-hour battery. Let me do this. Let me put this guy in here. One of the reasons I bought it was its uh, reported battery life. I still have my old headphones. We may have to just throw those guys back on there. Try to undo all the stuff that I've configured tonight. Yeah, see, now this is not... Like, like this is not... Like, it's almost like it's disabled here. It's weird. I wonder what would happen if I... If I, uh... I wonder if I disconnected and reconnected what would happen I'm going to I'm going to pull this over this is this has been as much about <clears throat> flying tonight as it uh, as it has been about troubleshooting All right I'm starting it up again let's see what happens Oops there's my overspeed leveled off getting yelled at and not quite to 40,000. What's the deal? All right. One thing at a time. Connect. Connect. 
All right, we're good there. And again, look. Oh, there we go. Now I'm listening to him. Nah, I don't know what's going on, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Hello. All right, we're clearly not at 40,000. Why are we not at 40,000? Um... We'll just vertical speed it up here. I think what happened was that the speed I was holding, 250. Oh, duh, because when you get above... Uh, so, I missed an important step there. When you get above 32,000 feet, you're supposed to go into Mach hold, and you're supposed to hold Mach 0.71 on your climb all the way up to whatever is your cruise altitude and the reason why is exactly what happened to us we were holding speed mode at 250 and that became actually an overspeed so that's why we were getting yelled at and that's why we didn't climb any higher so that's again a good lesson to learn and we're going to level off here and i'm going to try to set my turbine temp at about 800 to start and then just we're just going to kind of see how close that gets us to about Mach 0.78 and we're just a maybe a hair fast right now so I'm going to just keep easing it back no autopilot or sorry no auto throttle so you just have to you just have to kind of set it as you go yeah, I'm still approaching the uh still approaching the candy cane. Down we come. Once I get... Hey, there we go. I, th I feel like we're uh, semi-stable. So let me step away again for a second. Go grab some pizza. And we'll be right back.
Yeah, Matt, what I ended up doing was a little restart on the uh, on the pilot client. So anyway, it's working. Aha, very cool. We've got a raid from Pure Luck, the World Traveler. Hello, Pure Luck, and a re -ascription. Holy cow, thank you, man. My, uh, my sounds aren't working. I'm having a heck of a time here today, Pure Luck. I, I have some new earbuds, and they've screwed up all of my sounds. So anyway, other than that, it's going okay. I hope that uh, I hope that the uh, sim is still uh, putting out sound. But anyway, thanks for the resubscription. Yeah, see my system sounds. I've been messing with this all day long. It's just like, whoa, what the heck is going on? But uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I may have to go back to my old headphones at this look. Dryson, how's it going? Oops, let me come back to here. Sorry. I was away from my keyboard for just a moment. But, uh, yep, we're on our way. We're on our way to um, Houston. We departed earlier today from LaGuardia. We're making our way down to Houston. It's uh, it's leg, uh, leg, leg, leg. Which leg is it? Leg 22 of the Bravo Tour. So we're on our way trying to visit all of the Class Bravo airstrips in the U.S. Not, not quite as adventurous as what you're doing, but it's been fun nonetheless. And uh, we just did a little stopover at Nashville because we didn't quite have the range in the Learjet to make it all the way from LaGuardia down to, um, down to uh, George Bush Intercontinental. So... Just got a little fuel stop. We've just got back up to cruise. And uh, we're also uh, Raiders from the Pure Luck channel. We're also doing a giveaway at the uh, at the end of uh, this leg. So if you type exclamation point giveaway, you will, um, you'll get a ticket for potentially a $25 gift card. And yeah, I am. I really, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. I'll be honest with you. I am obsessed with it. It's so good. And uh, I'm just absolutely... Fixie, you're in, man. Yeah, it's just... There's nothing like it in in MSFS. So it's been a lot of fun. But um, how was, uh, how was your, your portion of the, of the world tour today? My dog's mad because I've got three slices of pizza here that he thinks he should get at least one of them. So for those of you that are hanging around, I did mention that there are there's a couple of uh, aircraft that have now been added to the uh, to the hangar, Uncle Melvin's hangar, by the way, and it's it's appropriate that Pure Luck is here because Pure Luck is um, one of the one of the guys that finally kind of convinced me to to bite the bullet and cave in and good fixings. Don't hate me, but um, I, I bought the any builds a 300 <laughs> yesterday um, I'm so sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> he was set to dig into the Learjet and then he realized he had to relearn the DC6 yeah I know shame 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 I will tell you the logic behind it though okay because I, I made a compelling argument to myself to be able to do it um, I I fully intend to get the Just Flight uh, A300 when it comes out, and yesterday I got the notification that oh by the way the Just Flight Thranda um, Duchess Beach 76 Duchess is is set to be released very soon. This is the same Just Flight uh, team that said oh Microsoft Flight Sim is is where we're going to focus because X Plane is not viable anymore and then all of a sudden it is viable and uh, so instead of instead of uh, updating 
other things like the BAE 146. Um, you know, they are they are going to put out a new version of the of the Duchess and it's payware. So anyway, I don't know. They're all they're all doing what we all what we all would be doing, which is trying to make a little money. And uh, so if I guess I just feel like if I if I uh, am going to buy from them, then I don't know that there's a whole lot of difference between what they're doing to explain users and what any builds is doing to explain users. So, uh, so pure luck. I don't know if you remember the Duchess, the Beach Duchess, the Beach 76. It's a T-tail twin. Anyway, it's it's about to be put out. Yeah, never been a huge fan, so probably won't get that one. It's pretty fun. But it's, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, I did get it. I would tell you... I would tell you that it's um, it's not quite as good as the X-Plane 11 version. But it's pretty good. I mean, I it, it has a lot of the old feel to it. So, it, it, it honestly feels like a little bit lighter and more nimble i think it flies more like the a310 than the a300 but it also is um there's still a few things that they're they i know they're working on so um i like the flight bag it's nice and uh anyway i had a lot of fun pure luck by the way um everyone's got to make a living <laughs> they don't control where the standards are so pure luck by the way i did not have any any issue with the uh with that little that little overspeed bug that you were talking about. Um, all right, let me I do this. Um, I tend to when I fly that plane, I tend to come off of the. Um, I t I tend to come off the profile pretty early, and I don't know if that helped with that. I, I'm so I'm basically I'm dialing the speed down manually like pretty early on that so um, again I'm not sure if that is why maybe I didn't have that spike I've seen I've seen the the issue that you've uh, that you've kind of wrestled with and I was a little worried about that last night but um, things things went pretty well so I don't know if that would help you or not but like um, you know as soon as I Basically, as soon as I kind of get vectors to final, you know, I I sort of I sort of start manually bringing the speed back, and I don't I don't rely on the profile to to manage my speed like like an A320 that the A320 does it just perfectly right all the way down to when you retard, and this one obviously the A300 doesn't quite have that. So anyway, did I get the Fokker? No, I don't have the Fokker yet. I I um um. I uh, I have the BAE 146. That's all. Uh, if I'm in vertical speed, that's fine. Yeah, and maybe that's that's true too, because that's kind of what happens. Is I, you know, as you're coming down, right? Like at a certain point, ATC is telling you to descend to this and hold that and cross this at that and all that. So I most likely I was in vertical speed mode too. So. The bug is from profile to land. Yeah, sure, sure. So I, yeah, I bet I'm pretty, I'm I'm pretty sure that I was in vertical speed mode when I, when I made that, uh, when I made that, when I armed my uh, my approach. So, Maddie's back. All right, and you're buying the Learjet. <laughs> you will like it. You will like it. I don't know if you have the TDS GTN 750 or not, but um, that's a it's it's been a wonderful kind of going hand in hand and and um, very highly recommended. There's a PMS version of it as, as well that uh, I know a lot of people. Oh, you've got the PMS. I know a lot of people have had good luck with that also. So I think it the, you can fly it with that one as well. ETA Matt's asking. Um, I probably could tell you if I knew. Let's go see if I can look and see. Um, 
<laughs> Might be in flight plan. Mm, no, no. I don't know. Probably an hour and a half or so still, I would say. There's got to be a way to, to figure that, right? Where's them's my shoes when I need them? Shoes is good with this TDS, man. Utilities, trip planning, um, point to point, departure, estimated, nope, uh, uh, ETE, yeah, no, should be here, it's my ground speed, maybe I have to put the ground speed in first, ground speed is, ground speed is 295, ooh, I'm just crawling, holy cow, I'm crawling, must be a heck of a headwind I'm fighting here. Ooh, goodness sakes. That, oh, well, and I'm also not even close to my mock. What's going on here? Goodness gracious. I look at my airspeed. That's crazy. I lost track of that. Okay. Back up to 800, and let's redo this. <laughs> it's going to take me two days, but I'm only going at uh, 200. Shoesy! Top of uh, or uh, ETE, how much is the TDS? I think it's around forty-five bucks or something like that. Forty, forty-five. I think it's the same. Uh, Fifty-five. Yep. Yeah, thanks, Fixie. Pretty, pretty comparable. I think what the P PMS uh, version is. So I'm guessing here that I can go. Whoops. Trying to figure out estimated time of arrival. So utilities, trip planning. Okay, there's distance, there's that, there's that. So what I don't, I need to put the ground speed in here. So if I'm doing 400, which is kind of what I was doing before, ETA at 1824 local time. So just a smidge over an hour, actually. Change track to ETE. All right, let's see if I remember how to do that. Uh, utilities. Uh, no. Map. Map. No. All right. Um, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Systems. No. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, 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 um. Utilities. I already don't remember how to do it. Does this have VNAV? Nope, no VNAV. It, it has a, it has an alert, um, a vertical track alert for you, but that's it. Yeah, no, that's the beauty of it, man. Yeah, the advisory VNAV. That's right. All right, map menu. Map menu. There we go. Change user fields. And instead of track, we want to put in ETE. Oh, but that only gives you to the next waypoint, right? I want ETA, don't I? 1922 local which again is about an hour um, man this is cool there's so many things you can do here reminding you to yep. read the Oops, chat. sorry. Change it to ETE to destination. All right. Sorry, I'm uh, over-speeding here also. I'm trying to trying to multitask. Probably the best thing of this stream has been the um, little uh, lessons you've given me on this thing here. So we want... Lo uh,
Oops. Where am I going? Um, ETE to destination. Is that what I want? ETE to destination. Yeah, they're ETE to destination. 1 plus 17. Cool. Ground speed's at distance to that's. So that's nice. So what I'd like to do also here is. So for now, I don't really need that. But what I. What I would like is that wind. Yeah, that's. That's pretty cool. Okay, is are those the only four spots where you can put things? Susie? Change the VSR to time to top of descent. I'll put that in here in a little bit. But uh yeah, that's cool. That's way cool. Alright, sorry guys. That kind of stuff is I just get a kick out of it. Um, technology can't always hold your hand. That's right. That's right. Well, pure luck. You'll have to let me know how it goes. Uh, do yourself a favor. If you aren't already get involved with the, um, life simware discord channel. And they, there's a ton of resources out there because there's no manuals because it's early access, but there's all kinds of reference manuals on the discord. There's all kinds of just Q and A, the really good community support, and uh, oh, what the duh! Even the toga dog got excited. Mike Stein, holy cow! A high five of gift ascriptions to seven five seven spy agent Presta, Dave Rendon, sleazy does it, and flying for fun. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you so very much. That is awesome. 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 Just the four spots on there. Well, that's that's still pretty cool. That's that's a big takeaway. Cody, I don't have anything for you, dude. Do you need to go upstairs and go potty? Might be his potty dance. All right. Let me uh <laughs> let me make sure he doesn't need to go to the bathroom. Michael. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. You are too kind and too generous. And I hope I can give that uh, right back to you tonight in the form of a $25 gift card. All right, I'll be uh, back in just a second.
Yeah, 757 has uh, always been one of our biggest channel supporters. And great dude. Learned a lot from Dave, both in terms of how to manage the uh, aircraft he flies, but also just what a good job he does as a streamer. Forgive me while I feed my face here. I'll keep the camera turned off so you don't have to witness the carnage. Oh, baby. All right. We, uh, we need to go here. And probably less important to, than ground speed is time to top a descent. Estimate time to top a descent. It's nice to know your ground speed, but that's honestly a little depressing. <laughs> We're only doing 368 miles an hour or knots per hour. Um, time to top a descent. There we go. 47 minutes. All right, cool. And then once we do that, we will, maybe what we'll do is change. I like having the wind, you know, you don't really have it out here. So it's nice to have the wind to have a good idea of like, if you have uh crosswind or anything that you got to worry about but what we'll probably do is take off t uh, estimated time to destination and we'll put in our uh yeah maybe we'll just put it down here put in what our our vertical speed needs to be whoops what was that smart glide unavailable darn Well, it's, you know, a couple things I like about it, Pure Luck, in addition to the fact that it's very old school, but um, it's a uh, it's a fast aircraft to kind of get started, and, um, and it's uh, really, really fun to hand fly, sporty, you know, very responsive, it just, it's just a rocket ship, you'll enjoy, you'll enjoy the heck out of it. Oh, yeah. I love Offsked. He comes in every now and again, like when I'm trying to do something stupid with the 737, he just, he just laughs at me. Yeah, he's done some good things with it. V1 Simulations is another guy um, that is a pretty well-known streamer and real-world pilot. He speaks highly of it as well. There's there's three or four, and then there's some guys in there that aren't streamers. I'm talking about the Discord channel that um, that are Learjet pilots, and they're pointing out um, they're pointing out things for for the developer for Momo, and he's like, "Oh yes, cool, thank you." I mean, like little things that you wouldn't think about, and or you wouldn't know unless you flew the plane. So this thing, by the time it gets, uh, <laughs> my dogs are going crazy. By the time this thing gets even into beta, man, it's going to be, it's going to be super detailed. And I mean, I don't like everybody's like, will it be A to A detailed? I don't know if it will, but 
but like it has the potential to be like that. Like it could be that deeply simulated. And it's just cool to see the community that's like it feels very X plane esque, if if that makes any sense, pure luck. It feels way more like an X plane project than an MSFS project. Welcome back, AppGeek Central. I don't have any remote control planes. I do not. I went through a phase for a little while where I thought having a drone would be kind of cool. But I didn't end up pulling the trigger on anything. Uh, when I was a little kid, I had a couple, you know, RC planes. But that's been forever ago. We have a... We actually have a, a RC plane air park here in, in my town and used to have a I don't know if what it's like anymore but used to have a really active uh, RC pilots um, association oh man yeah wreck ginger yeah hey uh, can do can do uh, we lift up wreck ginger's nephew who's going in for knee surgery, Lord, and just would ask that you would be with him, uh, comfort him, and give him uh, give him strength to go through this procedure and just help him uh, understand that uh, your arms are around him and protecting him. Be with the nurses and doctors and everybody involved. Help them to do their job to the, to, you know, just perfectly so that everything works out as well as it possibly can. Help him also during that recovery phase uh, and then just be with his family and friends lord and just give them comfort as well help them to be able to uh to provide that support afterwards in jesus name we pray amen she's yet expected to be at least at the 414 but not with all the systems yeah that's the whole <laughs> thing bella stop <laughs> my my littlest ah you're you're welcome anytime wreck ginger my my female dog, the oldest dog, comes downstairs and she just, wherever she is, she feels like not just her space, but like the entire floor should be hers. And so when the other dogs come down, she gets so mad. But yeah, I don't like the systems is that's going to be the kicker, right, Shusy? Because um, like all of these breakers, you know, they could be simulated and... The, the fuel system down here, obviously, like part of this, part of the fuel system is, is already simulated. You know, like I should be, if I was really doing this right, I should be, uh, I should be transferring fuel, you know, from the fuselage to the wing tank and all that. Um, but yeah, just, it just depends on how deep Momo wants to go with it because he's got people right now involved in the project that, um, I think could help him model everything right down to the, you know, right down to the, to the numbers if he wanted to. Have Geek Central. It's a trip, man. It is a trip. I think there are some that are, that work here. Like, uh, see if I can zoom in on any of these. Here's a few. Whoops. Yeah, like. Like these guys, like the AC bus tie, I think. There's a couple of them. If you wanted to, you know, turn some stuff on and off. I haven't messed too much with it, but it's a trip, man. It's a trip. The one that actually did it really well was the Wing 42 Boeing 247. That that thing had that, you remember it had that breaker box down here in the, right next to the first officer and that darn thing was tripping all the time and your gear wouldn't come down. Like if you turned, if you had the landing lights on and you tried to retract the gear at the same time, it was a, too much of a load. It would pop the breaker. And uh, Tim Duck, what's going on, my friend? I've got no camera right now because I'm eating pizza, but welcome, dude. I'm uh, toasting you as we speak. Great to see you. Tim Dog type exclamation point giveaway, man. Get in the drawing. $25 gift card at the end of this uh, leg. You're in, brother. But it is fun. It is fun. 
that plane ended up kind of having its issues. And I don't think the developer kept up with the sim updates like he needed to. But the plane itself had 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 a a lot of potential. It was really it was really fun to fly in a super old school way and it was very very difficult to manage the engine i never really got good enough at that i always felt like that was where i had some inconsistencies as far as sim performance and uh so i ended up not flying it after about my 20th 20th flight of not being able to fly for more than an hour without one of the engines catching on fire or both <laughs> i kind of just uh moved away from it um, how's the pizza in the old West? Well, I'm, I'm just eating Domino's pizza right now. So that's, you know, it's solid, right? Um, uh, we've got some pretty good local pizza joints out here, but I would not say that Wyoming is the Mecca of pizza. We do, we do other things probably better. Tim dog, you're flying Oakland too. Oh, you're doing the event. Yeah, cool. Southwest virtual. Can you disable the failures? Yeah, you could. You absolutely could. You absolutely could. Yeah, there we go. There's the event, guys. Woo wee. John Wayne in uh, in Ontario, right? Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, a little bit of weather up here by uh, San Fran and Oakland. Nice. Very nice. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be really fun. Well staffed. Look at that too. Seattle, Oakland, L.A. Albuquerque, Denver, Salt Lake. Very nice. I'm just hoping this holds for us. I really would like to uh, be able to talk to somebody as we're making our way into into uh, George Bush. You guys have uh, have put up with, well, almost five hours of stream with no ATC. Multiple nights of San Francisco events. Yeah, that's right, because there was a couple. There was a... Uh, was it last night? I think last night, the Friday night, Ops had a bunch of uh, Class Charlies staffed out there. Malcolm, hey, welcome. Uh, life is good, man. I'm sitting here eating pizza and flying the Learjet and uh, talking to you guys. So doesn't get much better. Yeah, those West Coast events are fun. Definitely. We'll be heading back to Memphis for the next leg of the Bravo Tour and then up to Pittsburgh. And I'm kicking around trying to do a two a two hopper. See if we can pull that off. Pick a Saturday and See if we can do two two legs here. We're getting pretty close. Again, guys, if you don't know what's going on tonight, what the heck's the Bravo Tour? We're, we're touring all the Class Bravo airspaces in, um, in the U.S. And so we've done, this is what we've done so far, uh, including tonight, at the end of tonight. So 22 flights out of, I believe there's 38 possible Class Bravos, and that includes. Um, I've added the. Uh, I've added the uh, um, military air bases too, just to have a couple extra places to fly. Maddie, you thought I was away, and it had just been that you were. He had paused the uh, picture in picture video. <laughs> oh yeah, man, it's all good. Um. But the uh, but like I said, the A320 will now be added as a potential candidate, and the other aircraft that I'm going to give it a, a a try because I watched Continuum flight last couple days is uh, it looks like the Flight Factor 75 is working pretty well in X-Plane 12. So time to give that one another install and another try because I'd love to have that guy back in the rotation as well. We actually did we flew that one on uh, our leg from Orlando up to Edwards 
Air Force Base. Yeah, he flew it, and uh, I didn't. I wasn't able to watch, but he flew it twice, and I kind of caught bits and pieces of it, and asked him about it. He said it worked great. So, yeah. The other thing about this plane, just kind of in thinking about planes that are being that are uh, popping in and out and being developed. The, the thing about this plane, too, that I'm excited about is the sound pack right now is is pretty average. It's okay, but it's pretty average. But apparently they, they're they working with, um, I don't know if it's Boris or not, but they're working on upgrading the sounds, and that's going to be huge. All right, 27 minutes to top a drop. 27 minutes, Matt. Yep. And uh, so we're looking at about 48 minutes until we're on the ground, my friend. <laughs> no math. That's right. Let's, what do we have? Um, we, we do have an ATIS for George Bush Intercontinental. I'm going to go ahead and jot a couple of notes down here. Information Tango um, uh, winds of zero four eight at six knots, ten statute miles, few at six, few at eight, scattered at twenty five, temperature six, dew point negative seven, altimeter three zero four six. Looks like they want arrivals on eight left or eight right. Oopsie, oops, a doodle. We're going to expect, uh, or we're going to plan runway eight right. Um, what else here? It's fine. Information Tango. So Houston Center. Let's let's see if we can get that tuned in here on thirty four four two five. Again, we're getting in the neighborhood, right? Like, you know, like, I don't know how close we have to be, but we are we should be getting close. If we don't hear anything here soon, what I might do is another, um, I don't know if it's worth doing another uh, restart or not, but... One three two four two five. We'll give it a little bit. We'll give it a little bit. Maddie will be back in twenty seven minutes. All right, man. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Well, let's take this opportunity now, since we only have about twenty minutes or so, to brief the arrival here. So, uh, Skinnerd four arrival into Houston. It looks like we're going to need uh, first. Our first altitude restriction is at Turner. Slowed down to 280 in between 280 and 240. Then Doobie, 22 and 19. Again, speed's the same. Skinner, we need to be below 16. Buffett, 14 to 12. And we're slowing down to 250 there. And, uh, uh oh, I should know who this is. It's probably another famous. Singer Kingwood Kingwood uh, slowed down to 240 between 10 and 8. Eddie below 8. Reaper at 6. Shiv at uh, 240. We are, yeah, we'll be down here because we're expecting 8 right. And then Howland 210 at 6. All right, let's get all that in and then we'll look at the We'll look at the arrival. I'm sorry, the approach. Okay. All right, there's uh, Turner. Yep. Doobie. That was fun. Yeah, Jack of all planes, master. That really does fit me. Um. I I've got I've got for real ADHD and so 
it's hard for me to uh you know you notice i'm always fiddling with stuff and it's not you know squirming but uh, my attention span is pretty short when it comes to to aircraft and i really like the variety so um yeah i i do enough to try to be as proficient as possible but i also know that yeah like uh i move around way too much and so a lot of my stream is is awkward stuff <laughs> where i'm trying to figure out stuff like where is the temperature and uh all that stuff but anyway yeah the main thing is i just i enjoy i enjoy i just want to have it's my it's my outlet it's my relaxation so i want to make sure that i that i uh don't get too serious what is my transition here to runway eight right looking 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 um pollen nope lassie nope yes lassie That will work. Awesome. Load that. And we need to be down 7,000 at Lassie, which uh, this says 6. All right, that's fine. We can live with that. Okay, I think we are in good shape for that. We've got about 22 minutes. And, uh, yes, a bit of a cat lady. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> uh man. Not exactly. You're good at the Phenom, but not exactly a master, but better than that at other planes. Yeah. And I'll go through phases. Like I've flown this I've flown this a lot since it's been released. And uh, so I feel like I'm getting a little better a little better at it. Yeah, you guys can't see squad out here, can you, unfortunately? Darn it. Um but I'm certainly not a master by any means. flood light back on here a little bit the plane that i've flown the most is actually the pmdg 737 that's the only plane that i feel like i understand at a semi deep level although again you can get very rusty very fast if you don't fly that thing often and uh that's kind of what happens to me How is the how is the balance of the sim sound? Can you hear things? Does it need to be turned up? Does it need is it, how is it? Because I've I've adjusted my volume in my headphones down quite a bit, so I just want to make sure that you're hearing the the wind and all that good stuff. You always struggle with the Zebo, yeah. Was a little little low, and that seems fine. Yeah, I, I I can turn it up a little bit more if, if we need to. Yeah, Zebo Zebo is really good. I enjoy it. It's um, it's my X plane go to 737 for sure. Okay, Let me keep turning it up just a little bit. The the problem with the Zebo is. Trying to figure out which one of these to adjust. Is it gets updated so darn often that it, it gets a little quirky too. Uh, but uh, if you stay, I found with the Zebo, if you stay about, like you stay like about a, an update or two behind, you're usually pretty good. <laughs> I know that's not really the way you should do it, but that guy, he's he cranks him out sometimes two a day. It's insane. All right. We're 
getting there 18 minutes to top a drop you guys we're gonna be there still not hearing my uh, Houston intercontinental oh that's because they went offline rats oh darn it well I am so sorry you guys I it's always a crapshoot when you do a Bravo tour you just never know you just never know I guess but uh, hopefully that means that those those people are out here helping out which is probably at the end of the day when you have an event going on that's really where you need the coverage so I get that I get that speaking of that phenom flight we never did get any kind of uh, statistics on your flight man I, you could have told us anything and we would have believed you because we usually we get like the the touchdown stats but you could have you could have told me, man, you buttered that sucker in at like negative uh, twenty three, and I'd have believed you. Oh, you just updated your air to the most recent since twenty seventeen. Holy cow! <laughs> you know if you um, if you fly aircraft like this, like it's okay because you don't generally need the most up to date. SIDS and STARS because you're not going into the bigger air, airports, right? Like it's those class Bravos that are the ones that are always messing with their arrivals and departures. Maybe it was so much butter it couldn't register a landing. You know what? That's probably it. Yeah. 218 at 1.5 G's. No need to lie. Yeah, that's like, dude, that's honestly, that's a good landing, especially for the Phenom. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the thing. People get a little bit freaked out about the TDS or the, the GTN 750 and X-Plane because it doesn't have up-to-date um, nav data, right? But, like, you don't, you don't notice because you're never flying into a place that, that changes their arrivals. Even the Class Charlies, like, for the most part, they don't really... They don't really change. Like flying into Opalaka, all right, you have the same same basic approaches and departures. Now if you're flying into Miami and you're parking at signature at Miami International, yeah, you're gonna need something that's more up to date, but Yeah, when you have one like that, like sometimes, sometimes you time it up perfect, right? And those feel so good. But when you only, when you only do a 23, sometimes that's like too soft, like not safe. All right, looking for Todd. 15 out still. He's up here. We're doing good. We're doing good. promise once I uh, finish my pizza I'll be back with the face cam <laughs> I will I will I actually have both Maddie um I right now I am using the uh, the uh, honeycomb uh, yoke just because that's what this this aircraft is right it's a yoke plane it's no yoke no sorry channeling my 757 spy a uh, little, uh, little uh, Domino's uh, hand tossed Canadian or uh, pepperoni with a little pineapple on it. But if I have an airplane that has a side stick, man, I've, I've, uh, I purchased myself a T, a Thrustmaster 
well, it's T1600, I think, whatever that is. And I use that for my uh, helicopter flying, too. It's fun. Yuck. Rob Barker, what are you talking about? You don't like Domino's? You don't like pepperoni? You don't like pineapple? Which part of that do you not like? You're just... You don't know anymore because you've been out shoveling snow for two days. <clears throat> you saved up for a while and bought the honeycomb yoke, uh, but didn't have the throttle. Yeah, or you don't. Yeah, yeah. It's I. I've liked the products. I really have. Um, the first. Well, I bought the yoke used, and it's been great. The Bravo, uh, the throttle quadrant I bought, the first one actually had a, an issue with one of the um, one of the quadrants. Uh, a little piece. It had a had a little part break, and I sent it in, and um, they fixed it, and it was awesome. They were really really good, but I've heard so many people. Ha say they've had so much trouble with customer support and and getting them to honor the warranty and so like I'm a little leery you know I know they've got some rudder pedals coming out I'm kind of like a little bit leery about about buying them the other thing that uh, about the really both units is I thought I would use all the buttons and switches way more than I actually do I probably could have saved some desk space if I would have went with, uh, you know, something else. But, you know, you don't know that. You, you love the way it looks. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. It's good. It, and it's a solid product. It really is. I like, I like the feel of it. I like the, I like the, you know, how... Like with the with the yoke, I like how much pressure there is with the spring and all that, and uh, yeah, and it it's got like cool backlighting stuff and stuff too, um, you know. So it's and it's and it's just highly configurable. So like I know there's a lot of people that spend a bunch of time on you know spad and axes and O's, and they get you know all these profiles set up so that they literally can use all of the you know they can they can you know actually put it on heading mode just by pushing the button and, and they love that kind of stuff so um, for that for that side of it it's you know it's cool it's just not that just hasn't become or that it, that hasn't been as much of a of a thing for me as I thought it might be Yeah, the only thing about the old yoke, which is what I have, is it's weird that it has the little cord that you have to plug in between the actual yoke and the base unit. It's like, why, why do we have that? But otherwise, like I say, it's been a good, it's been a good unit. But I also liked, I had SciTech stuff when I first started, and I, I liked that. It, it lasted a long time. I wore it out, you know. But it I knew a I should have taken that left coin at Albuquerque. Just about, <laughs> just about choked on that last piece of pizza, <laughs> that last bite. All right, we are doing good. Well, I tell you what, guys, based on how this stream started, I thought this was going to be an absolute disaster, but it has turned into really a very nice, relaxing flight 
ETA, my friend, I can tell you, uh, 39 minutes and 46 seconds. Top of drop here in 10 minutes. Thanks for watching my papa. <laughs> no worries, Fixie. Some of those I forget I have out there. one I want to find a way to integrate is this one. Let's see if I can find it. Your Volanta was deleted? Oh, your Volanta flight? Oh, yeah, there, there's some weird stuff that happens on Volanta. It's like tough to tough to figure out sometimes. Or it won't connect, and then you fly the whole flight, it doesn't recognize anything. Yeah, it's... It's sometimes a little bit funky. All right, I'm back. I'm looking for a sound file though that'll be good on on our Bush League events. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. Here it comes. Let me see if I can get this to play with my Happy headphones. Happy Halliversary, Hula Pants. Happy Halliversary, Hula Pants. Happy Pants. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. I get a kick out of it. So, Happy Halliversary, Hula Pants everywhere. We have not done the pilot math on this, by the way, so I'm really trusting the top of descent calculator on this bad boy. But it's been a good flight. Look at that. We started up here, made our way. It's been every bit of, uh, yeah, every bit of five hours. The first half hour of this stream was spent troubleshooting audio issues. Once we got in the air, though, it's been good, even without ATC. All right, the approach here is uh, we're going to come down around the south end of it here, come back in to Lassie. I see your pollen. I can't remember. Uh, approach frequency 1097, which I believe is preloaded. Yes, 1097 is there. Course we'll put in is 87. If we go missed, climb to 3000. Runway heading and out to the uh, DAS <clears throat> VOR to hold. Um, okay, that sounds good. Once we get on the ground, eventually we'll be on the ground. Uh, 
Oh my goodness, the FBO is clear down here. So we'll land eight right. Golly. Almost want to land on runway nine. We'll land eight right. We'll come down here probably whatever this little cutoff is. Sierra Foxtrot. Romeo Bravo to Whiskey Bravo and down to the FBO Ranch Whiskey Kilo. You know what? Or we might just go in here to the hangars. <laughs> I just have default scenery here, so uh, there's no reason to go past the entire the entire place because I don't I don't have a lot of cool stuff to show you. So we'll probably just go straight to that little hangar area, and that'll be good because you guys are going to be waiting on the drawing anyway so I will try not to delay it you've been very patient appreciate it if you are here and you haven't already type exclamation point giveaway you'll get a raffle ticket and a chance to win a $25 gift card right at the conclusion of this stream yum 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 here in about 33 minutes that's pretty good pizza Rock Balkery. Matt, I think you're already in for the second ticket, buddy. Let me double check. Yep, I've got you in for both tickets there, my friend. Not bad to check, though. Okay, top drop is upcoming here, and we might as well just spin it all the way down to 7,000. So our airspeed, I should figure that out. Airspeed times 5. All right, let's do this. Now that I know how to do this, we go... Uh, go uh, change user field so what's my where's my airspeed here ground speed I should say ground speed there we go so we'll do 346 times 5 and that'll tell us what our Seventeen thirty again, but again, what we can do is actually just change that. There's a there is a uh, an option here that will give us that if I can find it in time. Fixie, what's it called again? You're still here? Top of descent calculator, vertical speed required. I think that's what it is. Yeah, there we go. 1620 if we started right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to match that as close as I can, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that should that did a pretty good job, honestly, uh, heading into Nashville. So we'll keep rolling with it. Down to seven. Okay. Uh, does the TV exist um, in the real aircraft? Yeah, this Vertical is a, track. okay. Let me do this first. So this is a, uh, it's it's a weather radar is, is partially what it is. Weather and traffic uh, avoidance radar. And it, right now it doesn't, all it does is give you a, um, it, it'll, it'll be, it, it's more like a terrain radar, honestly. All right, so we want about 1720. Ooh, that's going to be getting pretty close. Boom. We're going to lock it in right there, baby. And our airspeed is good.
good, below 250, so I can live with that. Favorite airliner for long flights? Hmm. That's a very good question. I like really long hauls, I would say either the MD-11 or the 747-200. Those are the two that I like the best. Those are both X-plane aircraft. Um, if it's a like a five hour across the US deal, um, you know, the Airbus A320 is awesome. And there's, I've got a, I've got a couple of choices there that I really enjoy flying. And the, and the 737. PMDG is, is probably the one that I like in, well, it's the only one I guess I have in Microsoft Flight Sim, but the Zebo is good in X Plane. I like the uh, Felis, uh, or sorry, the, uh, the Phoenix A320 in Microsoft Flight Sim, and the Tolis Airbuses in X Plane are awesome. But yeah, if you're really, really like the few sort of cross the pond ish type, you know, seven, eight, nine hours, like it's been in the it's been in the MD eleven or it's been in the seven four seven. How about you? What's your what's your go to? Is that seven eight seven probably your your long haul bird? You like the MD-11 as well, um, but for freight, yep, the 78710 is the other one that you like, yeah. AppGeek Central's in, interested in the Magnite 78. N not sure of the quality, yeah. I, th I think it's, I think it's uh, been a pretty good project for those guys, but certainly uh, from a visuals standpoint, yeah, I don't know that it matches up with. You know, with with some of the others, um, yeah. Oh, good fixings is confirming it's not good. Those guys feel very much like a like a grassroots kind of dev team. That's you know that they've done some good things. I you know like I don't know the first thing about making an airplane, but uh, I think it just got a little bit too big of a project for them. The seven six from Flight Factor, the triple seven, yep. Uh, twenty eight minutes. All right, so Maddie, do this, man. It's it's uh, straight up top of the hour, buddy. So when the clock gets down to the thirty, we should be there, my dude. Yeah, the Flight Factor seven six for the UPS is is good. It's a it's a little bit of a resource-hungry plane, from what I've heard, um, but partly that's because it's really detailed. And uh, but it works well in X Plane 12. It really, people that have it love it. And that's kind of like with the A300, right? Like that's the Boeing version, or vice versa. Is that 76? That's the uh, wide-body cargo answer I think the seven sixes are a little bit more still in use right yeah I love that MD-11 that thing is uh, that thing is so fun it's just so fast I love it man it's it's another rocket ship for sure all right descent flow the arrival the approach the taxi all briefed Local altimeter setting here is 3046, and we're maybe a little early for that, but I'm going to just put it in here so I don't forget it. 3046. Oh no, now my battery's low on the other earbud. <laughs> I may lose it all. I may lose it all. I'm going to come down here and see if it see if 
if I can get this plugged in here and charged up. Uh, -de 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 -de. Let's go back to Unicom here, even though I don't think we're actually talking to Unicom, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh oh. losing do I okay so I think I just ran out of power even though I plugged in my battery died all right so guys this is going to be interesting <laughs> i don't have any comms so i am going to disconnect from that sim we should still be able to fly the mission it looks like the sim sounds are still going is that okay or, or is that true The cool thing about that MD-11 is that there's just not a whole other, there's there's not very many other um, three-engine aircraft that are out there, so it has that uniqueness factor. Sim sounds are okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm going totally uh, <clears throat> I'm going totally Nordo here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be going blind. Well, not blind, but but non-com. But as long as you guys can hear, that's all that matters. But what makes the MD-11 sort of tough to fly is it's generally meant for some little bit longer routes. It takes a little bit longer to kind of get set up and get started and all that stuff. Not that you can't fly it, you know, on an hour-long flight, but you just feel kind of goofy flying it at, you know, flight level 230, <clears throat> squawk at 7600. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's about like a three-hour flight, right? I mean, that's like perfect. That's perfect. Robart, good question. I would I would think a long haul flight where someone was flying a Learjet with no ATC would be very hard to endure. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, and I've done that also where I'll stream the departure up to top of descent as like one part and then the the or top of climb, I mean, then top of the set down to arrival. I've done that too. I guess I was hoping today that breaking it up into two legs would help, and then I was hoping that we'd have some ATC, but anyway. Um, Abby Central, you made a poor aircraft buying decision the other day on the, uh, the T-38. Oh, that's not a good one. 
Uh, we've all we've all been there, right? We've all bought that plane that we've had buyer's remorse on. Couldn't stream very much, even if the time was available. Having a forty-hour job, yeah, yeah, that's it's tough, man. It's tough. You gotta gotta carve out time and when you can, and then like like with even with this flight, like I I had this thing on the calendar forever, and you know, like as I'm getting ready to load in, we've got some stuff that's coming up that I'm like, oh, should I go do that? But no, it's it's okay. It it just is what it is. K through twenty, and I'm just double checking here. How close are we to following where we should be? Um, yeah, we're right on the money. That was Doobie we just passed. We're supposed to be two two zero to one nine or zero. So this thing is uh, tracking beautifully. Thirteen fifty. We're actually maybe a hair aggressive right now but that's okay too that's all right it's not bad my uh, airspeed has picked up just a little bit that's the only probably the only bad thing here so maybe we'll do this maybe we'll lift the nose just a little bit here re-engage vertical speed and at the same time I'll just pull back on the throttle a bit try to get you know here in about 8,000 feet I'm going to need to be under 250 well hey I appreciate that Ab Geek Central and the main reason is you guys were here and gave me somebody to visit with so yeah time is short to keep on time and yeah no you guys you've got a, a time crunch type of job Robert, no doubt about that. Plus, the thing about it is, you're working on aircraft all day long. I'm sure the last thing you want to do is come sit down and and stream one. You know, like it's different for me. I don't. This isn't what I do for my day job. So, it's not, this is my outlet. Well, we we'll definitely have Houston. It's a big old city coming up here, guys. <clears throat> But yeah, any time I've ever done anything that's been, honestly, that's been this long, if it wouldn't have been the, the stop at Nashville in between, I would have probably done a split stream. It would have made sense to do that. All right. We are, we're looking really good. We're supposed to be below 16 at Skinnerd. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be. Yeah, I was wondering, Drillbart, uh, what you thought about the the Boeing problem with the bolts coming off of that door, and or the bolts being loose, and that door coming off. I know that's not exactly what you do, but like you're in that line of work. I was just wondering what your kind of what your take was on that lackadaisical attentive, attentiveness. Yeah. Maddie, Texas is such a vibe. Yeah, I've only been there a few times. I've got some family that live in Houston. And uh, it's been there, you know, three or four times. But pretty pretty tough place to be for me in the summertime. That's kind of the main thing. All right, let's get my um, course set 087. Back from a phone call. Hey, hey, yep, didn't miss, you didn't miss the crash. <laughs> you used to live in Texas? Oh, man, moved there from Canada. You went from one extreme to the other, man. Too routine, too routine of work for some, and they got in a hurry. Yeah, I'm really surprised at how many 
more of those doors they've found issues on, I mean, holy cow. You know, it, it hits close to home because we flew home. We didn't fly home from a Flight Sim Expo in a 900 Max, but it was in an 800 Max. And I'm like, man, you just never know, right? Like, generally speaking, they're super safe, but... Um, but yeah, weird things are happen, happening, yeah. You have one there and it's been grounded, yeah. Yeah. Ah! You 21, that's good, man, John Wayne. I bet it was busy as heck, Tim Dog. That's cool, man. That's way cool. Alright, we're going to come down. We're just about ready to activate our vectors to final. We're going to get down. We've got one more turn to make here. A little bit of a left-hand turn and then a right-hand turn at the Shiv. And when we get to there, we should be on vectors to final. We can get configured for our landing. And, yeah, we'll call it a night. This will be a six-hour night. Pretty good for an old guy. I think we're looking pretty good through 10,000. Um, it's time to uh, set our ref speeds and also get our lights on. We'll go ahead and do landing lights. We're going to put the recogs back on. We're going to go ahead and arm the thrust reversers. And put those on. Turn the iPad on for one more quick second to get our weight here. Looks like we are right about 13. So my approaches will be 26 and a ref of 19. All right. UF 19 approach 26. Perfect. Perfect. And I tell you what, it's nice enough we could almost shoot the visual here. Almost shoot the visual. I think maybe we will. Guitar flies the triple seven two hundred cargos. Don't mow the grass this time. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I'd be making some radio calls here. Something like Houston Intercontinental Traffic Learjet one one eight one six descending eight thousand four hundred, just east of the field inbound runway eight right Houston. Sixty-two years in aviation, subject followings here. Starting to look pretty cool now though guys, look at that. Get a little hazy. Maybe we won't shoot the visual. I didn't see that really in the 
in the Aedis, but uh, there's a there's a now yeah, broken at six thousand five hundred, I guess. So we'll be in and out. Maybe we'll just stay on the ILS here. Hate to hate to drop down and find a patch of clouds that we don't know about. All right, you see our final turn here, and at that point we'll be on that shiv. We'll be on that vectors to final. Two two six. Well, that's what I'm on right now. What am I turning to? Westbound, roughly. Vertical track. Okay, we've leveled and our speed's coming down nicely again. I'm just going to leave the throttles kind of where they are. And uh, we need to get under 200 to be in flaps range. So we'll just let the speed bleed off as we go on our downwind. That's the other thing I won't hear is if I have any... <clears throat> warning uh, low speed or gear horns or anything like that so we'll have to it'll be interesting to see how this goes <clears throat> all right vectors to final 10970 needs to be transferred over yep 1097 transfer we're going to go ahead and go, whoops, heading mode, and jump me into, uh, jump me into my final approach a little too soon there, my friends. All right, there we go. Okay, what can I do here? I can go down to... You know, 2,000 is where I intercept the glide slope. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's zip it down to two. See if I can get the speed down just a smidge here. Let's get the let's get the nose pointed down. Vertical speed mode here. And let's take ourselves down to 2,000, and we can maybe turn in just a little bit earlier. We'll keep the we'll keep the ILS armed, but we'll just 
maybe cut the corner just a little bit sooner. 2000 is where we pick up the glide slope at the uh, rain, which is right there. So instead of flying all the way out, we're going to go ahead and cut the corner here a little bit. Oh man, M. Stein coming in with another gift sub. Holy cow, dude. You're an animal. Thank you very much, Mike. Incredible, incredible support. Dang. Yep. Closing in on hour six here, guys. Good job. We've had a, a good, good afternoon. Been a lot of fun. <laughs> I've trained coming, baby. Saturday night streams may be my weakness. <laughs> oh, pure luck. You are in the Learjet. Yes, I can't wait to see you flying that sucker. Pure luck. That's awesome. Man, that is so awesome. You are going to just have so much fun, man. So much fun. Ah, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, which is the point, right? Pure luck. I mean, like, you don't want to step into something and uh, after flying for 10 minutes, you pretty much got it down. So, very nice. Very nice. Ah, well, enjoy. Welcome to the Brotherhood. And we'll see you at the, uh, we'll see you at the executive FBO sometime soon, I'm sure. Can I get down, do you think? 4,000. I think we're going to be pretty close here. Let's do a little... Uh, we'll do like a little uh, little rooftop approach here. Got 2,000 to lose. Notch of flaps are out. Houston's insight. Let's turn base here. Altitude select is armed, so we will level at two and then we'll let the speed just continue on down. Approach speed is uh, 26 and ref speed was 19. <clears throat> there, eight right is the uh, farthest one all the way up here, guys. I take it back. That's eight left. We want the middle one. All right. Better turn our butts in here a little bit. We're going to be in good shape. 30 degree intercept there, about 060, should be good. Whoops, Whoa, ba -da -ba -da. I want nav. Capture, got it. Glide slope coming in here soon. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I hit the wrong button there. But you first you uh, capture the uh, localizer, then you arm the glide slope, and I actually hit the glide slope button first. Okay, so we're at two, and again we're just gonna kind of we're just gonna kind of let the speed bleed off here it's not the perfect not the perfect approach by any means but uh, at rain is where we pick up the glide slope so we're just we're not too bad honestly we're not too bad time we get to that glide slope it'll be time to put some uh, put some wheels down or we should be in good shape If we were asked to keep 180 to 5, we'd probably want to, yeah, I'm going to keep a little bit of power in here. 
this is an international airport after all, and there's probably some 777 that's behind me, so let's try to keep the speed up just a little bit here until we get to our glide slope, and then we can pull off power. <laughs> so lost in that thing. Well, you know, the one thing about it, you can be lost, but at least you're fast, right? You're going to go fast no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, the first thing I tried to do was fly a pattern in it, and it was like, holy moly, I'm so in over my head. It was like a 10-mile wide pattern. It was crazy, but fun. Really fun. Here comes the glide slope. Okay, my speed's looking pretty good. We're in good shape, I think, you guys. I'm going to let the glide slope... I'm going to see if I capture the glide slope here. That's the one thing I have not done yet with this new update. Is... Uh, let's grab a glide slope. So... Here comes... Well, actually, rain is right where we're supposed to be. Oh, I apologize. It's, uh, it's uh, Matan. We're supposed to be at 4,000 at rain. Oh, I'm way low then. We're supposed to be 2,000 at Matan. I totally misread that chart you guys no wonder i felt like i was low <laughs> giving the uh, neighborhood a little little low level flyby airport uh, board of directors are going to get a lot of a lot of phone calls tonight a lot of strongly worded emails So, almost there now. Yep, see, see, above 2,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mistakes were made. All right, there's our glide slope. Not sure what I saw. Just, just the thing jiggling a little while ago, I guess. <laughs> you went off stream flying today? Yeah, probably a mess of people. All right, did we grab the glide slope? Did we grab it? Are we grabbing it? I hope we're grabbing it. We are grabbing it. All right, that was kind of an awkward glide slope intercept you're down we're gonna go second notch of flaps bringing back the power just a bit here and uh, all right completely apologize oh I never did engage the yaw dampers totally apologize guys if we get yelled at here with the uh, autopilot disconnect but I can't hear it so I'm gonna do the best I can all right there's approach speed drifting just a little bit and as usual I'm trying to over control just little movements is all you need right this is just such a super responsive plane though it's just crazy and again I've fallen way below the glide so that's that's two approaches in a row I've done that you guys way below my airspeed's low you know, I've just pulled I think I've pulled power off way too dramatically and way too early try to just hold it here and see if it can if it can catch up should be going around at this point I'm really unstable but we'll salvage it we'll salvage it There we come. Speed's looking better. Glide slope is trying to catch up. OK, 
Okay, that looks good. There we go. Five hundred. There it is. It's a little bit better. That's a decent power setting, actually. This is a weird sensation not having any sound in landing this thing. flying. Let's do the thruster reversers here. We didn't do that last time. I think, ooh, a little bit of a pause. Good job. Like this high speed, yeah, wiggled a little bit off to the left there. Kind of floated it. I must have came in with a little bit more, a little bit more oomph than I thought. Okay, where am I? And how do we get down to the hangar area here so we can do our drawing? Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. I think we decided we we're just going to go. Yeah, so hang a left, and uh, that'll be November Alpha. We'll hang a left here. Clean up the flappy flaps. We're gonna go to uh, oops, 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 a doodle. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Just turn the batteries off. Try and turn the light, the uh, landing lights off. Okay, I want to go to taxi. Thank you. What I, I just broke by turning the batteries off. Hey, that's not good. Thrust reversers can come off. Those can come off. Recog strobes can come off. Pitots off. We're going to go down to the end here and hang a right. Stall warnings can come off. Actually, I'm going to turn here. And then... No, I'm not going to grass taxi. Promise. Turn here, and then one more down. Nope. I didn't see the taxiway. Um, you know what? How about how about this little little area right here? This looks like a great place to finish up the stream, doesn't it? I would say so. I would say so. Uh, right in front of this hangar-looking building. And we're there. All right, we made it. We made it. Looks <laughs> like they might have coffee. It's a couple of a uh, couple of guys like Drobart in there working on something there. What, who the heck is pulling up in that thing? Okay, let's do that and let's uh, let's do this. We need to. Uh, whoops, avionics. Did I turn the avionics off? Yes, I did. 
Let's do that. Anti-skid can come off. Lights off. Belts, passenger sides off. Inverters. Battery masters. And, oh, Pito, or autopilot radio altimeter. Windshield heat off. All right, we're there. We are there. So, thank you guys. That was awesome. I really, really had fun once we got our audio issues uh, squared away. Last chance. I know you guys are here. You're hanging out here not for my good looks and winning personality, but for the drawing. So if you don't already have it, type exclamation point giveaway. Get your ticket. Last chance for a ticket. Boston Off, thank you very much. Welcome. First time chatter. Pure luck, you're in, my friend. You're in. Okay, I'm going to update the list here. And then I'm going to do a, a drawing. So we have uh, Matt's is in again. Jet Pilot Cinnamon is in. Uh, the Av Geek Central is in. Texas One Flyboy got in. M. Stein is in again. Drobart's in again. Iowa Scotsman's in again. Smitty Papa is in. Good Fixins is in. Who else is in here? Who else? Is, there's them's my shoes. He's got himself a couple. Tim Dog is in. All right. Tim Dog, 53. Here, luck. Boston Olf, Boston Olf, and Har Saber. All right, you guys. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, I'm closing it. I'm closing it. Ha <laughs> ha. You think that's the newest plane you've ever seen fly? Oh, thanks for the subscription with your Prime. Har, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, this is a, this is a fun one. Okay, guys, so here's what we have. Here's all of our entries. And I'm going to just put the numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. You know the drill. I don't have a fancy picker. We're just going to come there. So we have 27 entries. Way cool. And uh, we're just going to go uh, Google uh, random number generator deal. And, uh, ooh, random number generator wheel. Picker wheel. Could we do that wheel of names? Oh, I don't want to do wheel of names because I have the... Okay, okay. Can I do picker wheel? What's this look like? All right. Um, 1 to 27 by range, by number, random digits. What? Formula? All right, we're not doing that. I just want everybody to have the same chance. Random number generator. 1 through 27. There we go. All right. And again, 1 through 27. We, uh, we're we looking. 1 is Jet Pilot Cinnamon. 27 is our, our Saber. And here we go. Good luck to you. $25 gift card. It is 21. 21. Smitty Papa. All right, Smitty. I will uh, get a hold of you, my good man. And we will... Uh, we will be in touch about your your $25 gift card. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, if you didn't win today, uh, remember we do this uh, around the 20th of every month. So tune back in next week. And uh, technically it's a pseudo random number generator. Oh, man, you know, I just, I just want everybody to have the same same opportunity. But anyway, come back next, next month. We'll do it again. We'll find a, another fun place to fly and give you a chance to uh, win back your money that you so generously donate to me but uh, let's go ahead and kind of wrap things up and uh, we'll be out of here thanks for watching my papa ah uh, so thank you yeah pure luck thank you man i i appreciate you coming in and good luck uh with you and that learjet you're gonna enjoy it i know you are i know you are i know you are um yeah and so many people to thank tonight i tell you what holy moly um we had a Gesso 10 coming in with the late follow, R Saber with the follow. Uh, welcome, welcome, 
very uh, welcome. Thanks so much for coming in. Pure luck. Thanks for the hundred bits. M Stein. Thank you for all the gift ascriptions. Six of them today. Just awesome, awesome, awesome. Pure luck. Thank you for your resub as well, and also for that raid earlier. Easy Jet two twenty eight. Hope you had a good flight into. Uh, oh man, you were going to Madrid, I believe. Anyway, hope you had a good flight. Surly Dev. Thanks for the follow, Muse fan. Thank you for the follow, Dougal McTavish, Allison Johnson, Twitch Boy Frankie, uh, Dare Pilot seventy four, Fender I I G S, uh, Matt's Matty uh, thirteen fifty seven. Thank you guys all for the follow as well, Hawker. Thank you uh, for that resub, M Stein. You kind of got the ball rolling here, you and Mr. Sim Egan with your cheer bits. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Iowa Scotsman, actually Iowa Scotsman, Texas, or Iowa Scotsman and flying with Mike kind of got the ball rolling. Iowa Scotsman, thanks for 32 months and flying with Mike. Thank you for the raid as well. Whew, holy cow. All right. Well, go watch the rest of the Packers game. It should be a fun one. And again, thanks again for your, uh, your, uh, company tonight. It's, you know, uh, time is valuable and I appreciate you spending a little bit of it with me. I... I will be back. I will be back on. I will be back on. Two. What is? Yeah, Tuesday. I'll be back on Tuesday, uh, doing a flight somewhere. I have no idea where, honestly. But I'll let you know on my Discord. Uh, I want to go over, and uh, let's let's see who could we go. Who could we go and raid here? Who haven't we went to for a little while? Um, let's see, man. There's some good choices here. There's some good choices. It's been a little while since we've went to Agent. Oh, Sparky's on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Sparky Pilot, and let's go say hello to her. Sparky's awesome. Good suggestion. Good suggestion. M. Stein. If you can stick around for a little bit, greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go collapse into my chair upstairs, but <laughs> uh, I hope you have a good rest of the weekend. Can't wait to fly with you again on Tuesday. Um, until then, uh, take care, everybody, and uh, have a blessed weekend.